Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the show today. Uh, we have a little bit of adjustment in our schedule, but um, as many of you might have seen, there's been a uh, major death in the uh, manga world. Uh, Miyura-san uh, uh, has passed away, and uh, we're going to take some time and uh, uh, try to honor his legacy a little bit for a couple hours with some art. And um, uh, happy to have you guys come and join us uh, uh, to be part of that. So, uh uh, as I go over here and um, take a look on the other side and uh, uh, share and like, I hope you guys do the same. Uh, now, um, uh, I think that uh, most uh, most of you uh, here know of this guy. I mean, he was really famous manga guy. Uh, uh, Eric, have you ever heard of him before? Uh, no, not personally. I didn't even heard of Berserk before we did a, a few weeks back. So I see. Uh, uh, Yep, didn't know. Yeah. Well, of course, here in Japan, this is very big news. Uh, this guy is very, very famous. Uh, one, one of the things that's in, he was very young. He's what, 52, 53, something like that, 54 maybe. Um, uh, very young. And uh, he, uh, he, but his influence was really big, Eric. I mean, he affected so many other things. Um, uh, let me go to someone a little bit younger. Um uh, Rabbit, uh, of course you know who he is. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, what kind of influences do you feel he had? Um, well, he had a lot of influences on a lot of things. His art style, for one, the detail. But yeah, I mean, he, yeah. one of the biggest. Well, I mean, he influenced Dark Souls, the infamous game, the brought back difficulty back into the world of gaming. The whole world of a uh, big, big uh, dark fantasy vibe from all of, from his stuff kind of exploded i think feel like it did for me anyway yeah no, i didn't really uh, get into dark fantasy too much until i read berserk and then well i would say i read it i watched it first but. well you know uh uh berserk of course is his most famous thing um but um uh you know i saw one thing come out here some years back and i I kind of wonder if he was either involved in it or it's, he had a lawsuit available to him or something. Because um, there's this show that came out that was very popular. It was called Attack on Titan. And oh, yeah. Um, yeah. that was a big show. But it looked a lot like his gig uh, uh, Giganto. I mean, it really had, especially the, the, the main character, had a lot of... Um, it looked very, very similar. It's as if someone had just ripped it straight off. Wow. <laughs> but you know it wouldn't surprise me i don't know what it's like in japan for stuff like that but. oh they're 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 crazy strict actually uh but uh <clears throat> just take a look here as uh before we get into it uh this is one of his, this is his kind of art style uh for those of you who uh who don't know it uh this uh manga right here is called japan uh it's <clears throat> strange but it that's it that's the name uh but it's a, a police detective type of story um, and of course his berserk character, which is uh, very famous, uh, Giganto, uh, and uh, um, uh, he also had a King of Wolves, which I never read this one, but I certainly have heard of it. Um, and uh, he had a few other pieces as well. Uh, like I said, he was really, really uh, young. He's only in his uh, early fifties, uh, and for him to pass away, but he's been sick for a while. Uh, so I guess it's uh, to his family and friends, it's not that big a surprise, I guess. Uh, for the rest of it is, because I didn't know he was sick at all. And I love his Berserk series. Uh, that's actually an anime my wife watched with me. She doesn't like anime at all. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but uh, but anyway, we're going to get into it today. We're going to spend some time, uh, uh, you know, working, uh, looking at his stuff. And, um, yeah, it's it's sad. It's a sad, uh, sad night for that. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, let's come back over here and say hello to our artists. So, uh, uh, Eric, uh, we did switch. We were planning on doing uh, Flash Gordon, uh, and maybe we'll do that next week. Uh, so I'm sure you had other plans. But that's uh, cool. You, uh, uh, well, it's it's a worthy a worthy effort. Uh, so uh, have you decided on what you're going to work on? Uh, I did, I don't remember what I did last time, but I think I'm going to draw guts this time. Guts. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's his his most famous character. Yeah, Giganto. I I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't just didn't put the Machia on there. Uh, jalapeno mouth. 
All right, so we're going to get a Guts over here, which is a great character. Uh, what are you thinking, Elrod? Um, you going to stick to the Berserk or do something uh, different? Every character. Uh, I'm working at a King of <laughs> Wolves references, even though there's only like one picture over and over. So I might do something from that. Uh, uh, he's I'll a sword fighter. Yeah, he's like a shirtless samurai, right? Well, well not always. From what but... I can tell, he's a shirtless guy with some samurai armor. And red hair. Well, I think you're taking Filthy. a specific scene, uh, but uh, it's just the cover. It's that no, way he's like looking. Every reference <laughs> photo of that character is that. Oh well, <laughs> search O D E N. That's actually the Japanese name of it. O D E N manga. You should find more reference than that. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, that's good. See something different. Uh, uh, Jeff Potts. Now I'm in America, so all it's going to give me is like Nordic mythology. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Jeff, no one mentions Teletubbies on this channel other than Booster. <laughs> He's the only one allowed. All right. Um, I'll see if I can't find some reference for you and uh, put it up. Uh, JD, uh, 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 what are we planning on doing today, JD? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing another Guts, but this time slicing cutting demons up this time around. An action shot. Oh, okay. I only pulled up mine drawing of them as a reference. That's that's oh. one way to go. Drift. Yeah, good. Good. All right. Uh, oh, no. Jeff is doing Teletubbies with swords. All right, fine. Uh, Kima, <laughs> uh, now uh, you're uh, well-versed in the uh, uh, Japan world. Uh, when it comes to manga and anime, anyway. Uh, so, what are you thinking about doing with uh, uh, for uh, Miyuda uh, uh, San stuff today? I don't know. I might do something from Japan. Okay. Yeah, that's a a police uh, police drama. That one. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, what are you thinking about Rabbit? Uh, I was I was going to draw Guts in his wolf armor, but, but I may do a Griffith. I think I'm going to draw Guts. We'll see. I'm not sure. I haven't done traditional in such a long time. I think last time I drew traditional, I still had long hair. Oh, wow. You don't have long hair now? No, I cut it all off to regrow it. Oh, uh, that's that's a, okay. That's a way to go. Uh, but um, I've done that before. I know it's illogical, but I've done the same thing. Um, well, but... I like having short hair for a while. I'll probably spike it up and go punk with it for a while, then I'll grow it back on again. Well, I shaved my beard off once so many years ago, and my kids almost had a heart attack. They were like, who's this stranger <laughs> What? I shaved all the sides of mine off, so I've only got the bit down the yeah. front now, so yeah. But it makes you look younger. Well, I guess. I, I grew it back, though, because no one liked it without, like me, without the all beard. Right. So I was, I was shunned, <laughs> rabbit. Uh, but, uh, shunned. All right, so we're getting a lot of guts. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get this started. We don't have uh, Booster here yet. He's running a little late, uh, but uh, that's okay. Uh, so, uh, Rabbit, since I'm on you, why don't you go ahead and do our countdown and get us going? <laughs> all right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that, well, all right. Uh, that was succinct. Very nice. All right, guys, keep in mind, uh, this is normal. We still have the two-hour thing. Uh, these guys can do whatever they want. Uh, and um, uh, we're, we're just uh, doing uh, or honoring uh, uh, Miura san today uh, and uh, looking at some of his projects uh, that he worked on. It's really, really kind of a shock for me. Uh, like I said, it's uh, I'm not a big uh, ma a manga or anime fan, but one of the one, one of the ones I really like is this guy's stuff. Uh, so it's uh, it was definitely a shock, you know. Well, anyway, uh, let me come over here and check because I think I noticed something a second ago. I think I misspelled something again. It's not my fault. Yeah, I did misspell Personal. something. Yeah, I gotta fix it. Let me go fix it. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, yes. Thank you. There you go. Let me fix it. Here we go. It's an A, not an O. What are you doing? All righty. Oh, and I can put a thumbnail in, too, since I'm over here. That's handy. So, Did you uh, ask Zach what he's drawing? Is he still in here? I didn't see him. Uh, I didn't notice he was in here. 
Looks like he's muted, but he's here. No, oh, so he's not displaying a screen. All right. Well, hopefully he'll maybe he's doing something. He'll come back. All right. There we go. So. Hello. Can you guys hear me? All right. I can. Hey, Amron's in here too. Hey, Amron, what's up? Hey, hello. Yeah, I just been having mic problems. I had to go get a new headset. Because my 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 usual one just stopped transmitting input. Well, this one sounds beautiful. Yeah, but the sound is crap on it. I don't know, there's something wrong with the wiring in it, and it's like the sound is very mono and tinny. No. Uh -huh. Tell me about it. It has one of those. It's one of those cables which has like a breakaway plug on it, like. And if I play uh, around right. with it, sometimes sometimes it will work for a second. Like, it's just, it's not in stereo. It doesn't matter, I can still hear you guys fine, and... Well, you sound good, though. <laughs> yeah, it sounds real good. It's, yeah. it's pretty good. It's a Turtle Beach... Um, oh, nice. ...brand yeah. one, so... But, yeah, it's an old one, and it's... Yeah. But... I did get a new set, but it's like, it doesn't work for Discord. Didn't seem to work. Wasn't picking up my voice at all. So oh, that one's well. going back. <laughs> well, I've never heard of Turtle Beach. I, I, I'm kind of surprised there are electronics that exist that are not Sony. Huh. Yeah, there's all different kinds. No, I'm just kidding. Now, who, who makes Turtle Beach? Um, No idea. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, they, they, there's quite a, a big range of it. In Australia. I don't know if it's Australian or not. I, I got it with a game, actually. It came with a game. Oh, what? Now, we have them here in the States, Turtle Beach, uh, make a lot of gaming headsets. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, I've never heard of it before. I've always liked mine. Well, here in Japan, if, if, if when it comes to headsets and stuff, if it's not Sony, it's a, uh, a company called Buffalo. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that one. So there we go. There you go. <laughs> so, but I usually stick to the Sony. Japanese are a bit fanatical. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Uh, but anyway, happy to have you in here. Uh, hopefully, Zach will uh, uh, turn on. Uh, he was in here. He's still in here. Uh, but he's muted and not displaying, so hopefully he will. Um, and uh, we'll have uh, uh, have some more artists in here to talk about uh, uh, Kentaro's uh, stuff. Uh, now, uh, Amron, uh, are you uh, uh, knowledgeable about uh, 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 Miura's uh, uh, work? And hit, like, uh, Berserk? I never got into it. I, I knew of Berserk, but I never got into it. It's like it was. It just yeah. The the it's sort of like the dark dark fantasy style. I'm not really that keen on when it comes to an, like through like anime like fantasy anime. Right. I was. I never got into it really, but I knew of it. Well, I uh, uh, I found his stuff. I don't know. Gee, it was. It's got to be sixteen, seventeen years ago. Um, and uh, I'm sure it had already been out, but my wife and I found the uh, uh, Berserk anime. And uh, we sat down and watched it, and we kept watching it, um, which uh, was, was weird, because like I said, my wife doesn't really like anime. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, I, I really, really enjoyed that, uh, that thing. So I went and checked out the art, and I love the art. It's really, really good stuff. So I'm just over here trying to put some stuff uh, together for uh, Elrod, real quick. I found some stuff. Oh, okay. It's because uh, you, if you look under uh, O Roden, you'll you'll probably find some more specific stuff. Elrod, are you Elrod? Yeah. I thought so. That's so. My Russian cousin. He's not from Israel. He's from Russia. <laughs> he's not a Russian Jew, Chester. Um, aren't they all? I didn't know there was a different kind of Russian. Alrighty. Let's see. So Armand's going on. It looks like you're doing. Uh, you're doing guts, huh? I guess, yeah. 
Alrighty, so we'll watch that come together in a little bit. And uh, let me uh, do this real quick. Alrighty. Uh, all right, here we go, here we go. All right, so let me just kind of read a bio on the guy uh, real quick. Uh, well, I'll leave, leave the art up. Um, so uh, he's about our age, uh, Eric. He was born in 66. Uh, um, of course, he's okay. best known for Berserk, uh, which went into serialization in, in uh, 1989. Wow. And continued until his death. So he did that his entire professional oh. career. He did Berserk. Wow. I have no idea. It has more than 50 million copies in circulation. That's pretty good. Stuff a lot of people with like his... Um pension to do one chapter per year i imagine yeah he's kind of slow <laughs> at it huh but uh maybe it just yeah. took the time to draw it uh but it is considered in the Japan. artist so detail it takes forever for him to draw yeah that's probably true yeah like um, i remember probably five or six years ago maybe longer there was a story that you know his publishers were kind of upset because he told him like well to finish it it's going to take 20 years and they're like you're not getting younger <laughs> yeah they were they were already they knew what was happening what was going to happen and they were yeah, right because i think <laughs> at that time he was already sick but they weren't releasing it to the public uh -huh. but they were like you know hey you got to speed up and he's like can't do it <laughs> Well, actually, it was it was his publishing company that announced his death. Actually, not his family or the police or anything like that. Uh, but he died from uh, uh, aortic uh, dissection. So he had some kind of uh, disease with his um, circulatory system. It sounds like. Um, Hot, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, well, this is more specifically the veins themselves. Well, the arteries themselves. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like he, he's kind of had that problem for a while, it's, uh, which is unfortunate. So he was kind of probably born with it. Uh, Elrod's probably right. Uh, but um, uh, I know in Japan, uh, uh, Berserk in particular is considered, it's in you know, it's one of the best manga of all time as far as Japan's concerned. Uh, in uh, 2002, he did receive the uh, uh, Tezuka Osamu Cultural Prize, which is pretty big for manga people over here. Uh, but it's all over the news, uh, and we've had a few, uh, you know, manga type people die over the years I've been here, of course. Uh, and they get a little of attention, like at the at the headline, and that's kind of it. But um, there, it's here in the morning. Uh, they're still talking about him, so <clears throat> this might go on for a few days here, uh, especially if there's no news, which is. Marvelous Japan. There is never any news. Uh, so they'll probably be on this for a while <laughs> over here. Well, Japanese don't like talking about uncomfortable news, Eric. Really? No, especially it's outside of Japan. Over here. Yeah, uh, to, to the detriment. Um, you know, that's one thing I got to give uh, a, a little bit to uh, old Tucker. Uh, he's been talking about all kind of weird stuff. Uh, at least he's talking about something different that isn't just politics. I mean, because everybody else is just constantly just, you know, biting at each other's ankles, you know. Mm. Uh, he's from yeah. Chiba City in Chiba Prefecture, uh, which uh, uh, sadly, in these days, most everything that's important is Chiba gets the title Tokyo put on it for some reason. They're right next to each other, but... Uh, uh, you know, like uh, Disneyland, for instance, uh, it's the, the Tokyo Disneyland. It's not in Tokyo at all. It's in Chiba. But there's a lot of stuff like that. Uh, I don't know why that's happened. The Chiba people must be upset. Uh, Chiba is most famous in Japan for oh, peanuts, okay. by the way. And the uh, Chiba peanuts are really good. They're expensive, though. But they're good. Hmm. Yeah, no, I... That's I, their revenge. I don't know what that means, uh, JD, but uh, go ahead and take a shot, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I think they charge you over a lot because they know you like them, but however, they don't get the respect they deserve. Uh, I get it. I get the joke. Uh, uh, no, uh, they're expensive because of the process they go to make them. Uh, I know a peanut, everyone here is like, well, a peanut's a peanut. Are they different? Uh, yeah. Uh, Chiba's peanuts are... Uh, 
there's such a different level of flavor and taste that um, it's a bit shocking. I didn't know peanuts could be different, to be honest with you. Well, that's Japan for you. Well, they, uh, what do they do different to? I don't know. It's just the process of how they grow them. The Japanese are really, really good. They don't create new things. They're really, really good at taking something and making it better. Making it better? Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, that's their skill. Um, and Bars, uh, TVs, electronics. Everything. You know, alcohol, beef, you know, anything like that. And it's kind of, especially with, like, the beef, you know, everybody in the West is a wagyu, 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 right? Uh, and that you buy this ridiculously expensive beef. Uh, but, of course, uh, the funny the funny and interesting point of that is uh, until about 100 and, I don't know, 50 years ago, uh, Japanese didn't eat meat anyway. Uh, and uh, there was a group of people in Japan who made leather products. Really? And, uh, of course, they would eat... Um, uh, uh, they would eat uh, the uh, uh, meat the, of the animal that killed, of course, uh, but this is uh, very taboo against the, Shin, uh, the Shinto religion here. Uh, and Bukyo is, a, is kind of a, a little bit like that, too, in a way. Uh, but um, And uh, they were considered Eta, the unclean, the lowest of the low, the bottom of the caste system, even though they were probably the healthiest people in Japan at the time. But, I mean, in a short, short period, because even when they started, when the Meiji Restoration happened, they started allowing it, it probably took decades before it became common for people to eat meat. So uh, you're probably looking at less than 100 years, really, of eating meat. And it's probably only since after the war that they started, really started focusing on it. So you're talking uh, just, a, what, five, six, seven decades, maybe, of uh, taking something like beef and improving it. It's pretty impressive. Oh, wow. So was it just mostly uh, fish and poultry? Uh, yeah, fish and poultry. Uh, any uh, 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 anything that had the wa ending, which is uh, for birds, they would eat. Uh, but, but they cheated. Good. They must have really enjoyed rabbit because rabbit is counted uh, uh, with that with that uh, that counting uh, uh, suffix. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, suffix. Uh, therefore, uh, because it had long ears, it was considered under the bird ter- uh, uh, ca- category, and they would eat it. So they cheated. That was cheating. Sorry, sure. Rabbit. Sorry, Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, but yeah, Japan's an interesting place like that. But uh, I mean, look at here what we're talking about with manga. This is not their creation. Um, I mean, the biggest art before uh, uh, you know the manga era would have been ukiyo-e, and ukiyo-e was um, basically just for um, commercialism. Uh, back in the Edo time, you know, the uh, the samurai, most people's image of the samurai, samurai time here in Japan, um, they would do this woodblock uh, type of uh, art, and they would print out tons of posters and hand them out for the next uh, uh, theater project or, or whatever was going on. So it was like a poster. Uh, but, of course, uh, the countryside people, when they would come to the town, would take them and put them on their walls, and they would cherish it as art. Uh, but, I mean, that's the art they had, and there's a few famous pieces. Uh, but uh, manga is another thing. They picked it up from the West, and they ran with it. Animation, they picked it up and ran with it. The Japanese are really good at taking things and improving them. And if you think, especially, especially with manga, uh, not manga, anime, how many things they added to the art of animation to express motion and to express you know, uh, 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 combat and all those kind of things like that. They really changed the world of animation, didn't they? Yeah, they, they're the ones who really mass learned how to mass produce it. Yeah, that's true. It is true. They streamlined the process, I should say, probably. Well, they found out how to do it quicker and uh, faster, but still cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, and everybody just, of course, just copying and, and carrying on with it, as they should, right? But, you know, uh, nevertheless, let me go back here. I'm leaving on Elrod while he's working on his piece here. And let me continue uh, uh, reading a little bit more about uh, uh, Mr. Miura. Uh, now, like I said, he was born in Chiba. And uh, and at the age of ten is when he made his first manga. Damn. Wow. And he na- yeah, it is. And he named it after himself uh, uh, Miyudanger. Okay. 
Uh, it was published uh, for his classmates in the school publication. Okay. Uh, his series ended uh, up spanning 40 volumes in uh, 1977. So uh, when he was 10, until he the age of like 11, he produced 40 volumes of this this uh, early childhood manga. Jesus, dude. Guess he was born for one thing, huh? Yeah, he started he started drawing it when he was like five. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's when he, as soon as he got popped out of the womb. So actually, when he was like zero, he started working on Berserk. Wow! Uh, in uh, uh, in 1977, uh, when, no, once again weird. when he's eleven. Uh, he worked on his second manga, which he, can, he called Ken Ino uh, Michi, uh, The Way of the Sword, uh, in which he used India ink for the first time. So he, he, he does India ink style. I didn't know that. Um, wow. I wonder what he used before. I don't know. Just regular ink? I don't really know anything about it, to be honest with you. Um, squid. Maybe, yeah. Uh, and when he was in middle school is when he really started becoming a master. Okay, wonderful. Uh, uh, so uh, when he was in high school, he, he went to a special artistic uh, 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 school, which they have that here in uh, Japan, high school. High school is not required in Japan, um, unlike in the West. Uh, you have to go all the way up through junior high, and then high school is an optional thing. Um, and uh, uh, therefore, they have a lot of high schools that here that uh, specialize in things like you go to uh, uh, architectural school or art school or sports school or whatever. They got lots of them. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he did so, which is uh, the, the people around him were obvious. I mean, Jesus, he wasn't even in middle school. and He already created two giant volumes of, uh, of a manga. So, all right. Um, is uh, I don't know what this is. Uh Uh, okay, so he actually set, published himself initially in his own magazine when he was in uh, uh, junior high and high school. That's interesting. Um, then when he was 18, uh, he worked uh, uh, as an assistant with uh, George uh, Morikawa uh, uh, of the uh, Hajime no Ippo fame, which is uh, pretty famous here in Japan. Uh, that's um, it's a, boxing, uh, a boxing manga. Uh, it's very, very popular. Uh, so he, I didn't know he worked on that. All right. Uh, and that dude who uh, uh, Morikawa is legend in Japan. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him, but he's he's made some really big stuff. Uh, I don't know if this stuff is going out to the West so much. It's kind of from from the past. Uh, but uh, he uh, 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 it sounds like. Uh, uh, Kentaro here went was working for him and he dismissed him quickly, meaning let him, let him go from his company because uh, he said that I have nothing to teach you that you don't already know. He was 18. Jesus, man. Well, and the more I read, I the more I feel like I've wasted my life. Thank you. Jeff. Yeah, I mean, it, this is a bigger <laughs> loss than I thought. I mean, this guy was literally born to do this, and he died at 50 something. That sucks, dude. That really sucks. So, because that guy dismissed him, and uh, he uh, uh, said he didn't have anything, he went to uh, Japan University and uh, studied art at, co uh, at college, and that's when he uh, started his uh, Futanabe, uh, 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 which means this, the strange things. Uh, but uh, it, it, that ended up, uh, of course, uh, translating into his big success, first success, uh, which was uh, 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 the uh, King of Wolves. It's interesting. Alrighty, I'm key. I, I am going through the art here as uh, I'm talking. By the way, uh, so the, the people are getting to check it out. Oh, you're fine. It's no big deal. Yeah. Um, I didn't know all this about him. I knew he, you know, he he created a manga that I really liked. That's all I knew. Um, but um, Jesus, man, this is. The, yeah, and of course his big influence, he said, was Fist of the North Star, Star which you know, joined the joined the club, I'd say. Um, and violence. That was pretty cool doing them. Yeah. Violence check. So I was gonna say because big big. Uh, so Japan's by the author who did Fist of the North Star. 
Yeah, no, he, uh, it was. So it must have been cool for him to work with. Like, he's one of his biggest influences. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, I didn't know this. Um, holy shit, I didn't know this. The uh, you, you know the uh, uh, Paul uh, Verhoeven's uh, Hellraiser series. Yeah. He worked with that project and did a lot of the art for it. I didn't know that. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I, wow. I didn't know either. Uh, he also was a huge influence on the Final Fantasy uh, uh, um, uh, run, as well as Devil May Cry, and he actually uh, uh, kind of advised the word. They're using the word advised. So um, I didn't know he was doing. He did uh, any of that stuff. Uh, I, I just I only know uh, a couple of the. Of course, the uh, the King of Wolves I've heard of, and the. Um, uh, and the uh, the giant one, and uh, of course Berserk. Uh, but all right, let me come back over the other side. But the, this dude, damn dude, that's a serious talent, man. Serious talent. Is uh, has Zach come in yet? I mean, he was down there. Yeah, he just didn't hear anything from him. He's still muted down there. I don't know what he's doing. He's not displaying either. So I don't know. Uh, but Kima, you're sitting here working on his uh, his police uh, drama thing. Kima. Yeah, sorry, I was muted there. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, your mic sounds great today too. Yeah, I'm using my shitty webcams mic. Hey, it works. Oh, it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, sounds really good. Yeah, ten dollars. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I am happy about my. I, I, I've only made <clears throat> two purchases for this show, particularly <clears throat> in the past two and a half years I've been doing it. Uh, one was a, a GoPro camera, which I use uh, uh, very rarely, uh, and uh, this uh, Sony headset, and it's still going. Knock wood. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, my my mic's dying, so I'm gonna have to get a new one when they lift the stupid ban on not being able to purchase non-essential items. Where in the hell Wait, is that? What? Oh, that's right, she's in Canada. She's in Nazi land. It's... I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> that's no, crazy. No, the the rules in Canada Canada's out of control. Kinema, I feel bad for you because they've lost that... their damn mind. Why is that like that? I mean, we're literally. Go I'm going. Yeah, I know. Next week. It's like <laughs> Mad Max. It's because we we got put into another lockdown. So to limit people going out, they said you can only buy essential items. So basically, health. Why health. didn't you just tell them it's essential for your work? <laughs> yeah, it is yeah, essential I wish for you. Work, but they won't believe me. Yeah, no, the Canadian Canadian government has lost its damn mind. Uh, it's out there arresting priests for doing their job. Mm -hmm. they, they they're arresting people on the street. They're literally beating people in the street. I don't know what the hell happened to Canada. Yeah, and it's weird, because Canada, you know, for there us, it's the nice the border with SOS signs. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, for us, uh, Canada is the sickly sweet country, right? They're always so damn nice. Uh, but uh, what right. uh, what happened? I don't know. Said about Adolf. I guess. Justin Trudeau <laughs> happened. That's what. I think it's bigger than him, JD. Um, but uh, it's yeah, maybe the Illuminati. Bad. Oh God! I'll leave, leave leave Ja Rule out of this. Yeah. Uh, good. But I do love what Esther, you're doing. Could you give Kim a, a note to get the uh, essential stuff? I might be able to. Yeah. I'll I'll make a call. I'll call up Justin and uh, see how Aww. he's feeling today. You know. Yeah, you're probably in the same yacht club. You probably got some sway. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't have enough uh, blackface credentials underneath me, though. Oh, that's oh, true. God. You're close, okay, though. Chester, why'd you leave the club? Come on, man. It's no fun by myself. Aw. You know, he's not alone, dude. He's got a bunch of liberal friends with him. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I really wish I knew what was going on with Zach down here, man. He's just there. He's muted. He's not talking. He's, he's taking a bell of silence. I guess. He's fine. You know, Rabbit, it's been a very long time since I've seen you work traditionally, dude. 
Yeah. Why'd you decide to I do have, that? I haven't today? been doing... Well, I figured... I might as well just take my time and draw something fun. Uh, for a change, instead of trying to win. Oh! Oh! oh. Slap oh. all of you. Yeah, that's twice. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted a change, because I'm always doing digital stuff. I haven't yeah, done traditional stuff. Hey, I need a better camera, but... Well, you've gotten really good with the digital stuff. I mean, uh, you've improved incredibly with it. So... I just won't be as quick doing this now. That's the downside. <laughs> so I've done too much of it. Well, I'm glad we're doing it though today. Uh, it's uh, it was a big shock news that came out, and uh, it's just way too young, dude. Way, way, way too young. Uh, especially for Japan. I mean, if you die in your 80s, it's kind of young for Japan, right? Most people get into their 90s here, or even into the hundreds. We got a lot of hundred year olds here in Japan. Um, the 50s is ridiculous dude you know they don't even celebrate your life until you hit 60 60 years old is the big celebration of life party they have so he didn't even make that dude yeah actually my band does a lot of those parties we'll go and uh have like a big life fill they'll fill out a live house for a 60 year old party sometimes they do many uh, people together uh, and uh, my band plays a lot of those. So, but then again, I do have an Osan band, so which means old man band, by the way. I I figured. <laughs> well, I'm the youngest say, one uh, we here. We don't know what that is. I'm the youngest one in the band, dude. Oh wow. <laughs> well, they're all retired pros, right? And uh, we they just How didn't want to play. The oldest? Uh, the oldest is seventy eight. 79. Good gravy. Dude, he's like the best guitar player Still in brown and water. That's like Elrod's age. Yeah. That's <laughs> a junior. Yeah, I thought my grandpa's uh, honor guard was old. What the what? Oh god. Okay, what? JD, I'm going to let you run with that. My... Go ahead. <laughs> sure, my uh, grandpa who I actually love the most. You know the one who was almost in the Goldfinger movie? No, but go ahead. <laughs> he actually he was the head of the um of I thought I mentioned it before, whatever. Anyway, he was the head of the the honor guard for a while since the last guy died and then he uh, stopped stepped down, but trust me, he was pretty good at it. Uh the honor guard is uh the flag carriers, right? I uh, know the he did the shooting part. Oh, right, right. They got the flag and they shoot uh, for this. What, uh, for those of you who are not from America, uh, when uh, someone of military rank or government official or something dies at their funeral, uh, we'll have a uh, 21 shot salute uh, that they use. They usually use rifles, uh, although, depending on the level of the person, I've seen cannon actually dragged out for yeah. it, which is traditional. Uh, but uh, that's what honor guard is. You get the, and then they'll hand over a, a fold. They'll do a special ceremony where they'll fold the flag, American flag, and hand it to the widow or uh, the next of kin. Uh, that's what honor guard is. I don't know what other countries call it. I'm sure you have it as well. Uh, but uh, that's cool. That is cool, JD. So your uh, grandpa was a lifelong yeah. military guy. Um, not lifelong, but he is still a military guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he's in the honor guard, he must be. Uh, maybe he's part of the National Guard. Or yeah, he like was. That. Yeah. That's no, cool. actually, he was a, he was in the army, you know, and he was stationed at uh, Fort Knox. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I meant after he got out of the military. That, a lot of those guys will join the National Guard after, you know. I don't know if he did or not, but I think he joined the joined the no the American Legion. Oh, okay, and that'll do it too. There you go. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't know if it. I've ever known anyone who was. Uh, part of an honor guard any of you guys uh here it's done volunteer now is it yeah like uh my dad uh, no. had like these guys that volunteer to do veterans funerals well that's um i'm glad that someone is still doing it uh you know yeah. uh, it's usually a little more official but uh that's good 
Yeah, that's why they started doing it, because it, I guess, officially stopped. Now, we're screwed. I wonder who did that. It's probably a guy named uh, Hussein or something like that. <laughs> well, actually, my dad died while uh, Obama was in, in office, and uh, they still did the Toil and Gun salute, and um, actually two uh, soldiers were there to hand me the flag, and, and got a letter from Obama himself. Oh, wow. So maybe it's just a state by state, you know, some of these liberal uh, governors and such. Uh, I think it's a lot. A lot of times too, it's the cemetery. Yes, oh, cemetery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's a good thing. I, I, I'm glad that it's still being done. Um, it's uh, it's certainly a respectful thing. Uh, over in Britain, I'm sure you have this uh, rabbit. Have you ever seen it before? No. 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 I'm sure the Japanese do it. They copy everything America does. So, <laughs> oh, they do. I mean, that's one of the that's one of the bigger complaints I have about Japan. I mean, in, in general, when you look at it, if you kind of weigh the list of good points and bad points of where you live, uh, Japan has way more good points than bad points. So, you know, overall, yay, you know, great. Uh, but they do got some. They get, they do have a few points. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not so thrilled about. And one of those is they just keep copying America. And it's like, stop it. Be Japan. What are you doing? Especially governmentally. Please do not copy Biden. That would be a bad idea. I'd prefer they be more like Justin Trudeau. Uh oh. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words. Well, uh, do you, what do you think's worse, a clown in charge or a senile old man? Good question. That is a good question. Same, Same difference. difference. Jump into the acid or jump into the fire? Which do you prefer? Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's not good. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, uh, in my lifetime, and of course I've studied American history uh, uh, f fairly deeply, uh, I, th there's a couple of presidents that would probably be in the same category. But, I mean, the first few months of a presidency, uh, there's not many that were worse than this. I mean, this guy, my God, dude, talk about dropping the ball everywhere. And, and it mostly because out of spite as well, just spite. And it's like, dude, that's not your job, man. Whatever. I'm not here to talk about those idiots. Uh, I am really enjoying uh, uh, what Eric is doing here. Uh, Eric's, you, you know, you really have leveled up recently. I don't know why. Put out a new comic, Jester. That's why. You got a new <laughs> cock? What? Yeah. Comic. Comic. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say, where do you get those? I don't need one yet, though. But it could come in handy. You got one of those inflatable ones, you know? Oh, yeah, I've heard about those. I saw one in a movie about Liberace. I think you guys got all kinds of stuff over there. You got, like, the sex robots, don't you? Um, do we? I don't know. Uh, That's what yeah, I hear. Yeah, we all Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> he was the model for him. Was she? Oh, that's cool. Hope she made money that's why on she it. Was good casting. That's why she was good casting for Ghost in the Shell. Because we found out in reality that if the Japanese did build an android, it would look like her. Well, I mean, you know, she's certainly getting up there in years, but she's not a bad-looking lady. Oh, no, no. And, and I got you, Johansson. Yeah, she's not a bad-looking chick. As long as she stays well, Charlie she'll be fine. <laughs> well... I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, was smart. She didn't ruin her body. She went and bought her kid. That's right. She did. Um, well, I don't know because this, to me, uh, to me uh, uh, you know, I guess it depends on the conversation, but uh, character has something to do with beauty as well uh, from, from my point of view. Uh, Scarlett seems to be, in general, a nice person, uh, which adds to her attractiveness. Uh, Charlize Theron is a bitch on wheels, man. I mean, she's not a nice human. <laughs> Well, I mean, she does steal children from foreign countries. She so does. It takes uh, a type. Because it's fashionable, <laughs> right? But she's not a bad-looking lady. No, she's not. No. 
I'd say the only, you know, woman that's been pushed to us as being some kind of beauty recently that I did really didn't agree with was that um, who was that uh, noisy girl that played Mystique? Rebecca uh, Romijn. The no, new one? I liked her. No, the one that did Hunger Games. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. That's it. That's it. Yeah, because uh, they kept telling us how beautiful she was, and I'm like, eh, she's kind of normal to me. She's a pretty average looking chick, actually. Which you can, which you can work. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say this, but well, actually, I am gonna say this. <coughs> that movie sucked. Yeah, I haven't seen much of her that was any good, but uh, but then again, she hasn't. We haven't seen her movies in years and years, so she disappeared for some reason. Uh, she was in Winner's Bone, which was a great movie, and then after that, it was all downhill. Was that her? Yeah, yeah, that was her. And then uh, oh, you know, shit. ever since then, she's been really sweaty because they got her on the methamphetamines to lose weight. Oh, I see. Because she's always very shiny when you see pictures of her. Yeah, and she well, she got all thin. I mean, I'm not. She's not unattractive. What she's just the normal girl. She's kind of a, you know, the average-looking girl, which you can you can use it as an actress, I think. Uh, but they kept telling us that she was supposed to be this amazing beauty thing, and I was like, eh, I don't think so, dude. That's that's PR. I mean, she was a star of a big franchise, so they had to tell you that you love her, so you'll go see those movies. I suppose. I suppose that's true. They do that for anybody. A terrible a book. A terrible franchise like Twilight. Yeah. Yeah, the kids seem to like it, though. <clears throat> Not me, man. It fizzled out at the end. Whatever. What was that that she was in? Twilight. No, she wasn't she in She wasn't in that. <laughs> the Hunger, Hunger Games, Games trilogy the one or they, whatever. The one Hunger based Games. on the Battle Royale. She was in Hunger Games, wasn't she? I'm not Hunger sure. Games. Hunger Games. Yeah. Yeah. Hunger yeah. Games. yeah. And, uh... Yeah, that, that kind of fizzled out at the end. It didn't. It made money, and then that was kind of. By the time the last movie came out, no one watched it. Well, they weren't very, very good. I watched the first one, and it wasn't a good movie, so I didn't bother watching any more. Uh, but. Um, well, it's kind of like you've already seen it, right? It's like. Yeah. It's the kind of thing you can't really do many sequels to because it's going to be the same story. Well, once again, if she'd learned to shut her mouth, I, I probably wouldn't have many much opinion about her, but she, she's one of those that can't. Uh, but I don't know um, <laughs> as far as what's what's beauty and stuff these days. Uh, how about on the other side? Um, uh, I think Keenma's got a, a better take on uh, things than we guys do because there seems to be a lot more handsome men uh, than there are beautiful women in Hollywood right now. Uh, Keenma, who, who's the hottie right now? Like hell that I know. I don't pay attention to that shit. Well, come on. You see it. We can't can't help by gaining it through osmosis. I mean, these days it's everywhere. Um, uh, who's the who's the handsome handsome lad in in Hollywood right now? I don't fucking know. You're a Honestly, lady. I... You're supposed to know. No, I don't care about <laughs> that shit. I care about drawing. That's fair. That's fair. Dedication. Now, now Kima, if we say Matthew McConaughey, what do you say? Oh. Nah. She says McConaughey. Well, see now, I, 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 I'm not a lady, so I wouldn't really know. But I, I kind of would figure he'd be a handsome, dude. He's getting a bit old, though. He's gonna run for office. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Vote for him on principle. Just do that. All righty then. All right. Uh, but uh, let's see. Cumberbatch is not a pretty guy, but that's that's okay. He he works that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, you know who I must be a handsome fella. Um, uh, who was the dude in uh, Jupiter's uh, uh, Jupiter Rising? It was a really bad movie, but he's in a bunch of little stuff. What's that guy's name? I think oh, that's, I uh, I think that's the brother of uh, the guy who plays Thor, uh, Helmsworth. Nope. Yeah, I think that was Helmsworth's no, brother. No, that's who you like, JD? Definitely not. Yeah, but how about yeah, Chris? I've got it. I know his name. I know his name, but I can't can't remember it. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Yeah, now that's a handsome fella, right? He looks oh, like a handsome. Oh, that guy. Okay. If you say yeah, that, kind of looks kind like of a quirky from. Uh, e. I. Joe. Yeah, but we're asking the ladies, yeah, JD. Tell me about it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, he's just another guy. Just another guy. Well, I don't know. He's okay. Um, I, I I don't really have the uh, equipment to judge, uh, <clears throat> but um, 
Uh, it seems to me that Hollywood yeah, yeah. has more... Uh, Jupiter Ascending, thank you very much, Dumb's the name. Uh, it seems that Hollywood right, right now has a lot more hunky dudes than it does uh, sexy ladies. I don't know. That's because women control the box office. Magic Mike. Yeah, yeah, he was in that movie, which was uh, yeah. which was way better than um, they had there, a right to there's be. Too, there's too many. Yeah, I think I know why. Kathleen Kennedy and all those other chicks, they're ruined Hollywood <laughs> forever. Well, Enough okay. said. Mic drop. Uh, I, 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 okay, <laughs> mic drop, indeed. Uh, I'm not going to argue. Uh, 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 you know, so, all right. Don't worry, they keep telling us Kathleen Kennedy will be leaving soon. It sounds yeah, like she it. got fired. I said three that for the last couple of years. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you know, uh, what an actress I mean, that by came. By now, it's probably been five or six times. It's it's after ten, right? Yeah, I think she's got some dirt on Iger or something. She's got some. She's got to have some dirt in there. Uh, but um, well, she also has an amazing track record of billion-dollar hit movies like Indiana Jones. Where she got the coffee? Is that what you mean? I'm def we're definitely them? getting demonetized. Oh, I'm not monetized. Oh, okay. Maybe we're safe. Why did we get demonetized for making clickbait? Oh, that's good. Yeah, it seems like they'll demonetize you for anything. Uh, of course, this channel is not monetized. Uh, but uh, And it never will be. YouTube, you keep your money, At this rate. bastards. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, you know who uh, an actress I really liked, and I haven't seen hiding her hair of her in years, <clears throat> is uh, Emily Blunt. I thought she was a pretty good actress. Uh, she was she's good action character. She was in that uh, Tom Cruise movie. It was pretty good, uh, and I think she's pretty. She uh, married. She's married to uh, John Krasinski, mm -hmm. right? Oh, okay. Maybe she got married, and decided to be a mom. Yeah, she All right, that's quiet, cool. yeah, quiet place. Yeah, I think yeah, she's, she's supposed to be in the sequel to that that's like being delayed. Yeah, she's as well. in the sequel. Yep. Yeah. Well maybe she's like Goldie Hawn, right? Decide to get married and have kids and be done with the whole acting thing. Well, that's usually what happens to actresses. Well, I don't blame them. That's good. They're putting their responsibilities where they uh, where they should be, really. Yeah, why work when you can sit around and just collect money? Well, I mean, you know, if you're gonna be a mom, be a mom. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to do that, then don't do that. But just, you know, if you're going to be a mom, you know, please be a mom. Do your job. Um, but uh, every every time a YouTuber says KK is going to be fired, a mailbox uh, falls over. <laughs> uh, okay, was she in Quiet Place? I didn't, oh, I didn't God. see that movie. <laughs> oh, you should see it. That's really good, Chester. Is it? All right. It's not, it's not that... Um, who is that girl that was in Speed with Keanu Reeves? What's her, her name? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Yeah, no, it's it's not that's that... the Birdcage or something. Oh, good, because I, I don't like... I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, old Bullock. Why? Because her uh, name sounds dirty? Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of hers. Uh, I did... Uh, my wife wanted to see it, so I went and watched the uh, Gravity. She's really popular in uh, Rabbit's Country. Is she? Yeah, they talk about her all the time. Like, oh, that's, oh, that's Bullock, way. not Bullock. Bullock would be a uh, actual bull, you know, a, you know, I male think cow. Yeah, I think they love her. You think they do? Okay, no they do say bollocks a lot, and then they put the word dog in front of it. I don't get it. Dogs bollocks. I don't know why they're talking yeah, about dog, dog balls. Dog, dog was a uh, British slang for Sandra. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Rabbit, why why do you guys go on about dogs' balls all the time? So, what's what's your obsession with dying. testicles? That's such an old saying as well. Mm -hmm. I see Alan over here. He's not in here again. What are you doing, Alan? Snubbing us. I know. I uh, hope you guys are doing a draw along. We're doing something a little bit different today. We are uh, looking at the works of uh, Kentaro Miura. Uh, and uh, he did just pass away uh, uh, here the past couple of days, uh, which is really sad. And uh, hopefully you guys will do a draw along uh, showing a little bit of uh, respect to the master. Uh, came to find out, of course, I love his art. I always have. Uh, since the first time I saw it, uh, I just found out today by looking at his bio that he is, he was literally born uh, to do this uh, from a very young age, producing 40 volumes 
of his own little comic before he went to middle school. Jesus. That they published. He was born with a pencil in his hand. It seems so, dude. And it really hurt his mom. Oh, oh, oh. He's like, I wondered where I put that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I, now, I've actually seen a, a, a child birthed twice. Uh, pencil? Well, uh, no, not a pencil, <laughs> just a child. Uh, and, uh, you know, my son was a pretty normal thing, but my daughter's uh, birth was odd. Um, uh, you know, they were doing their normal procedure. It was our first baby, so it took like a day for uh, her uh, for her to come out. Uh, but uh, maybe that's normal for a first birth. Uh, but um, uh, when she came out, <clears throat> she came out with arm first, or her right arm first was poking out. And it was tucked tight against her head, of course. And as she came out, uh, I was in the room, and she's looking right up at me. Of course, I know she's a baby. She couldn't really see me. Uh, but she's looking right up at me. Not a sound. Not a sound. Oh my God. Right? Uh, then they took her over to the little table and uh, washing her off and stuff like that. And instead of crying, she was laughing. She was giggling. Oh, man. Yeah, it's weird. Your baby's like the omen baby. No, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm sure Both many people have that experience. Baby. That's his daughter, man. My name was cursed. Uh, that's okay. Uh, my my daughter is more than capable of kicking JD's ass, and I'm going to give her your address, JD, and she'll solve that. Whatever. All JD needs is a Bible and a crucifix. Um, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, yeah, that and that, and also knowing her real name, and also maybe a little. Um, I don't know, maybe some type of amnesiac or whatever. I don't know. Oh, wow. How, how old is your daughter now, Uh, let's see. She would be 24. I'm desperate. Four, I guess. Oh, then then keep her away from JD because he'll, he'll end up being your son in law. Uh, no. Wow. I, I think JD oh. would end up with a high heel oh. through the chest, to be honest with you. Uh, uh but that uh, would be so awesome. No, it would not, Eric. Shut up. <laughs> but I mean, I'm wondering how many other people have had that experience with a child doing like that. Uh, my son was different. He came out screaming and pissing, you know. Uh, but my daughter, silent, and then she started laughing, giggling, and it was. I thought, oh, that's not normal. Oh, that's cool. Which, that's what she said too. Oh, that's not normal. <laughs> well, to myself, I guess, yeah. My wife was in one of those she was probably afraid moments, to, you know. She was afraid to say something around the white giant. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah. but uh, I would be fragile if my baby's eyes were glowing red, too. Yeah. No, they were solid black. Solid black orbs, actually. Yep, I believe it. Like a demon-possessed goat. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, 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 Eric, why did I bring my family into this? It's my fault, isn't it? Yeah. Is hey, I, I, I'll tell you something though. Um, I saw in a Discord chat yesterday people talking about Chester. Oh, really? What? So they're plotting my death. Nice. No, they're actually saying they like this show better than the uh, pro show, and oh. that uh, they don't understand why you don't have more followers. Because I don't go out and try to get them, I guess. Because he's being shadow banned by Mike Gus Miller. He might, that might be true too. But I don't really go <laughs> digging for him. I know I get yelled at when I don't say please subscribe and all that. But uh, I, I, you know, me, I'm happy to sit here with our small, small community and chat and have a laugh at the the nonsense that's going on and and enjoy the other things we like. Uh, that's all I care about. I'm not really interested in having a giant channel. To be honest with you, I don't have the time. Yeah, that's more work. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the time. I mean, my free time I have. You guys see. Yeah. I mean, if I'm not in front of here, I'm working. It's that simple. But it's going to pay off. I'm retiring soon, Eric. Yes. Well, who's going to take over the show? JD. No, I didn't mean here. I meant in my from oh, my work okay. life. I didn't know if he'd be able to broadcast from uh, the Everglades, Florida. Huh? JD can't take it over. That'd be nepotism. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> really? 
You really? I mean, guys? once you're married into the Chester Bus Busby legacy. Yeah, we've already kind of discussed the yeah, possibilities that uh, JD could be my kid. It's but it's but it's it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Explained a lot. <laughs> well, my well, oldest is thirty. I don't know about that, but. <laughs> Then again, maybe it's possible. I mean, you never know what my mom was into. It's fair. It's fair. And I know that uh, during them uh, early 80s, uh, and uh, I mean, early uh, 90s and late 80s, uh, I, I was definitely into a lot of lot of, lot of, of chicks, J.D. And the chicks were freaks J.D., have you taken they your were. 23 and Chester test yet? What did you say? He's got to take his 23 and Chester test. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Well, you just, you just went to a lot of sperm banks back in the day. <laughs> well, no, well, I guess you could call them that. But, uh, hey, a man's got to make some money somehow. I mean, every every gig I did, during, especially during that, that one, like, uh, I don't know, six, seven-year run, uh, every gig I went to, there was an after party, and there were absolutely very, very freaky girls. Every single one. Is that, dude. is that a nice way of playing whores or sluts? Oh, they're definitely hot sluts, yeah. Um, but uh, see, I don't even know the number. Oh, yeah. I have no clue. Whore, you gotta, you gotta pay up front. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I never understood groupies, dude. I never understood it. But at that young age, I didn't complain about it. Now I kind of would look at it in dis, uh, distaste, I think. Yeah, because you'd be like, what would your mother think? That's right. That's exactly yeah, right. What are you doing with your life? Yeah, what are you doing? I mean, you don't know me whatsoever. You don't know any of us. They're just so desperate to get laid by. They even fuck the roadies, dude. You filthy tart. Yeah. Go home and think <laughs> about what you want. Uh, Alan says you're going to inherit a yacht, JD. Aw. <laughs> so, JD <laughs> shot. <laughs> Be shagging you. Hey, we got Zach in here there finally. What's going on, Zach? You've been real quiet, man. What's going on? I was just listening to the nonsense. Well, it's always He's nonsense. Well, what do you want? Yeah. You know. No. Well, I am curious though. Are you a fan of uh, Miyura-san? I didn't know anything other than Berserk, to be honest. Yeah. Well, that's good enough though. Another... I mean, it's... It's pretty and, impressive. And stuff. the only reason why I watched it is because it was on like the top ten most fucked up anime list, and I was like, "Yeah, I gotta watch that." So, is it is it top ten yeah. fucked up though? Is it? I thought it was a really right. solid story. <clears throat> no, it's a really solid story, and then the end gets really messed up. Oh, it so. does. Oh, that's the end of the end. That's the beginning. Well, yeah, that is true. That is the the beginning. Yeah. Uh, but uh... So you're talking about the horse, but I'm not talking about the horse. No, no, talking you're about talking the, about uh, the end where the demon and the rape and stuff took place and all that. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the beginning. Oh, that's the beginning of the story, actually. <laughs> it's a family <laughs> show. How did Mister Rogers come? Uh, that's actually the beginning. Whoa. Yeah, it is. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. It all goes to hell from there. It's all demon fighting and all what? sorts of crazy shenanigans. Right. Yeah, there's a, it's it's fantastic. Well, but don't watch any anime after the original because it's terrible. It's that 3D CGI crap. It's the Sandra Bullock. Oh, I don't. Yeah. yeah. I, hate, I hate it when they integrate 3D. But the manga is amazing. Well, after that is when they get into the Black Swordsman stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it starts there, really, in the mangas. But um, they, I don't know what they always do the Golden Age of because they did the original one. Uh, the original anime, which is like, which is all that story. And then they did the movies. Which has got some CGI stuff and some animation, but it's actually quite good. And then they did the uh, Netflix adaption, which is all the Black Swordsman's arc. I think it goes further than that, and that's just terrible. Why? Why they use the three D animation style instead of actually using real animation, especially for such a good cheaper. story? That's beyond it's me. Yeah. I know, but it's like you look at Demon Slayer and how good that is, and then you look at Berserk, and Berserk's such a better story. It's just, Netflix I, made it. Netflix yeah, Netflix an actual, suck. Yeah, when Netflix gets all, like, unless, it, I mean, Castlevania was... Tell me place. about it. Castlevania is just like, it's like animation, but with less frames involved. It's so yeah. slow. I mean, I don't hate the story, it's but it's not company. fantastic. Yeah. America is just, just lazy. 
They're just lazy, yeah. dude. Japanese have like a work ethic like I've never seen before. Oh yeah, they do. That is true. Well, the guys at the Castlevania are now doing everything, so it's not going to get better. Because yeah. they're going to be overworked. So, I'll be back in a second, guys, okay? All right, JD. Was, was that, that, that term, I mean, the, what was it called? It was on... It wasn't that bad. It was a dragon in the... Oh, Dragon's uh, Dogma. No. Was right, it the dragon? No, it wasn't Dragon's Dogma. That wasn't very good. Um... That was another one of them. I didn't like that one either. It was the, I know what you talk about. It was the other one. Uh, yeah, that was... Yeah. Pretty, yeah. What was that? Yeah, the Do animation Do that was... Dota. Dota. Do yeah, Dota. That's right. Yeah. yeah that Based was off good. the game. That was good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. But okay. that I had more effort put in. You know, the interesting thing over here, though, is coming right out of high school, in some cases uh, uh, college, uh, you have, you know, just kids lining up uh, enthusiastic to jump uh, to jump into an absolutely absurd work schedule. I mean, they the the amount of work they put those kids through, and they're happy to do it. Uh, so it is a different mindset over here, uh, Zach, to be sure. Well, yeah, like when well when I was right out of high school, I was willing to do all kinds of crazy work hours, but now that I'm thirty some odd, <laughs> I wasn't. I'm like. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be honest, I mean, I put in a good 10, 12 hours every day, six days a week uh, mm -hmm. of actual work. Uh, but um, I'm not even would I wouldn't even be considered a, a, a crazy hard worker here. Yeah, I'd be somewhere in the middle, I think. Yeah, I would be considered lazy. I yeah, well, most Americans, too. yeah, that's true. Yeah. I... <laughs> You know, it was like I was struggling at a job, going to college, and trying to draw at the same time. Yeah. And, but still, I don't know. It felt like it felt like I didn't get to do anything I wanted in college. It felt like a waste of time. To be honest, I felt like going to uni was a waste of time. Like, yeah. It's just like you do it, and you're like, "Well, you've got a uh, qualification that's not going to get me anywhere in life." <laughs> nope. Never once has a client ever asked me, "Oh, do you have a bachelor's?" And no, that's it. Know. They never. They don't. No one cares. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. I've used my player. degrees my entire life. Well, your degrees are for education and stuff. You're we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about like you know, like you wouldn't not hire a person if they had like an incredible portfolio and a good work ethic. You just would mm -hmm. not not hire just because they don't have a a degree, you know, because it doesn't really matter. The only Come thing back. you ask is like, can you do this? Can you do that? That's what yeah, and how long does it take you to do? Yeah. And what's mm -hmm. your... Can you That's do this? Matters. Can you do that thing? And how long does it take? Blah, 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 blah. So, America, it's no longer necessary to have a degree? Well, no, Never just was. for like art. For art and other things that are like that. Music as well. Like Music. Race, oh. Pointless. Yeah. Anything that's creative. Got... Yeah. Any sort of creative well, degree is just pointless. Unless you want to teach. Then they require yeah. it. Oh, wow. Seems wow, to yeah. be the same in America as it does here. So. Well, Japan's different, I think, in that regard. Uh, although uh, <laughs> artists and musicians, maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, but I know that the, the Japanese government won't even talk to you unless you got, um, uh, for what I do, unless you have like a minimum master's degree. They won't even, they, you can't even get in the conversation. Which is, I think, wrong. I think they're probably uh, missing out on uh, quality people uh, by doing that, but whatever. But here in Japan, it's a it's a land of licensing, though. Anything mm. you imagine that you do in life, you need a license to do it here in Japan. I mean, everything. Even secretaries have licenses. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Yeah. That is. Yeah. They went through the training courses. They are licensed. Yeah, and they're serious about it, too. They have testing programs and all that kind of stuff. The good thing about it, though, is you can take a Japanese license and you can translate it into any country in the world, though. That's that's a positive. Hmm. Ooh, this is pretty, Zach. I like it. Go. Yeah. I forget the girl's name. What is the girl's name? Uh, uh, Amron's working on her, too. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. 
Keska. Kas. Keska. 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 C a s c a. Keska. Keska. Yeah. Yeah. Bad things happened, dude. Bad things happened. Mm-hmm. She's improved a bit since the uh, the last chapter of the manga. Although it's the last chapter of the manga, unless she's got a bunch of storyboards written out. Apparently he's good at storyboards and really slow at doing everything else. So you never know. He might have a whole chapter ready to be just drawn by somebody. That's true. Um, and with his, you know, kind of sudden passing, uh, you might see a resurgence in uh, his stuff. We might see some more anime, actually. You might. Maybe they will actually get around to doing it properly. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Yeah. A whole reboot. Because they did that with Formal Alchemist. They did the reboot, and that was fantastic. Oh, same right. with the Hunter X Hunter reboot, as well. That that was a really good reboot. If they messed up Armstrong, that was the only thing that pissed me off. Yeah, but it's much he better will. than the uh, the, the first uh, attempt, though. I mean, it's way better. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the ending's way better. It is. <laughs> the first, the first uh, that's actually like, uh... that's actually my son's favorite uh, manga. I think it's my brother's as well. He loves it. That's really well done, dude. It's JD's favorite. Uh, JD said he'll be back. <laughs> he said, oh, well, I was making a joke. No, that's, that's, what, yeah, that's my favorite one. If I... said your son, so I said JD. Oh, oh. I uh, still doing that. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, still on that, I see. Yeah, it's one of my favorite anime. No, no. Well, we're still doing that joke. Weird, huh? Well, that's all right. Chester the Letcher years. It's all right. I get it, yeah. <sighs> As had, you know, um, have you ever seen those videos where it's like that guy sitting on the couch with a pipe and it starts off and it's got the classical music and it builds up to him? Mm-hmm. Man, I just pictured you sitting there and being like, hello, everyone. Let me tell you a story about yeah. my early days. <laughs> <laughs> I got Fourth stories, time. that's for damn sure. You haven't had a stripper story time in a long time? No, I my my wife doesn't appreciate those, dude. <laughs> oh, it finally oh. happened. I, I, I said Wonder that why? would happen. Yeah. I warned you. Yeah, well, that's all right, you know. Uh, but uh, Can't imagine why. Well, you know, the thing is, I wouldn't, this current me wouldn't like younger me. You guys have that have that uh, yep. thoughts, you older folks in here? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Yes, I, I do know, too. But I'm not old enough, I guess. No, yeah, yeah, probably not. Yeah, but no, seriously, I would not approve of my younger self at all. I feel like my younger self had a lot more fun. Well, I I, I, I guess I had more fun, but I was much less responsible. I would have told myself, don't go to college. <laughs> Buy yes. Bitcoin. Buy a lot of Bitcoin. <laughs> I buy a lot of Bitcoin, yeah. Well, you know, I, I got a little bit lucky with that. I didn't, unfortunately, I should have got more. But uh, way, way back when Bitcoin first came out, one of my friends who works for Squaresoft, uh, he told me you should buy some of this stuff. So I bought a little bit. And uh, I didn't think about it again. And now all of a sudden it's it's worth a lot. Uh, so I should have bought more. Yeah. It's going to be worth a lot more, especially by the end of the year. Yeah, no, I'm just leaving it. I, uh, unfortunately, I just bought so little. I, I, I should have just uh, threw a few thousand dollars at it, you know? Yeah. You'd be multimillionaire right now. Yep. That's all right. It's still worth a lot, though. I'm not, I'm yeah. not, uh, I'm not upset with it. Uh, but I, he was, he was absolutely right on that, dude. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't pay attention. If I had paid attention to it, I probably would have bought a little more here or there, you know. But I just didn't. Mm-hmm. You know, like um, in 2013, I had an opportunity to buy it, and I didn't. And I pick myself every day for that. Mm. Well, it came out before that. <clears throat> no, I know. But 2013 is when I, I was like, actually like, oh, well, maybe I should buy some of this stuff. Because mm-hmm. I think it was like $100 right then. Like one Bitcoin was $100. Wow. And I was like, man, it I should buy one cheap. of these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it was cheap because I remember I threw a few a few hundred bucks at it, and that's that's mm-hmm. it. I think it was like three hundred maybe, four hundred something like that. And I thought that was kind of wasting money at the time, but he was so emphatic about it. I was like, all right. And he knew he understood that stuff. He's a you know he's a, a programmer guy. Uh, so I was like, all right, fine. So I did. So I wish, like I said, I wish I threw thousands at it and paid attention and kept putting Would you money like in it. Sell it before it got really big. No, I didn't. I still have it. Good. No, so because it's uh, worth a ton of money. Then it is. Yeah. It's worth by hundreds of thousands well. of dollars. Yeah. So this game about IBM, IBM like you could you could have like invested in IBM in the seventies or what? Right, right, right. <laughs> well, in the late eighties, I did buy some uh, Apple stock, so I do have some of that. But it's nowhere near as much as it would have been if I bought it in the. Well, of course, I was a kid, but if you bought it in the seventies, uh, my God, dude, Jesus. Oh, well, my mom had a uh, AT and T stock from the sixties <laughs> and seventies. Mm. Yeah. Because she used to work for him, and that's back when they used to give you stock as a employee bonus. Oh, um, nice. Cool. Yeah. And she had it for like all like from the '60s on, and then I think in the late '90s she sold it because it was, you know, it had gone up to the super high value of like nine dollars total. And a week after she sold it is when AT and T got bought out, <laughs> and that nine dollars was like a few million. <laughs> Right now, yeah, that's unfortunate, dude. Uh, but yeah, no t- but stocks will split. What happened because she was getting bugged by AT and T was buying it all back. Oh. So they knew what was going on. They oh. bought all the stock before it went up. Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's not considered insider trading, huh? Uh, but um, anyway, uh, I need to go get some more coffee. Money not to go to jail. Uh, I, I suppose they they always find a right way around it. Uh, Eric, I'm going to get some coffee. Can you take over, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. Sure. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Super. Super. Mm. You know. Zach, what have you been up to lately? I haven't seen you on the mic show. I've been... Yesterday I got really sick. And, uh... So I took the night off. I'm Ah. still kind of recovering from that right now. So, but um, well, how's your book coming along? It's good. I mean, it's not nearly as big as a Golma, so it's a lot easier to handle. And yeah, so yeah, I think I'm. I don't. I don't like having it so short though, because it feels like it squishy. The story squishy. So uh. I've been I've been doing a lot of editing to try and make the story flow a bit better. You know? How many pages is it? It's only forty-eight. I I wanted it to be a oh, short it's not story bad. because uh because yeah. it it really has only one goal for it. So once it does that, you know, it, everything else doesn't really matter. So. But getting there to that thing is is the important part. <laughs> and then it, it closed and is now in demand on Indiegogo. So. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I didn't do an indie. I'm not going to do an Indiegogo this time. But I am going to open up my in-demand store from issue two and add issue three to it. Nice. I it's did still it. open, so yeah. we just add it on there and tell them it's like a pre-order and ship in August with issue three. Yeah, that's smart. See, that's why I, I was like, I wanted a, a storefront, so I left it in demand so that when you know, I can I can actually sell all the books because it kind of sucked for Golmas. I didn't sell the books. But then I had to go through the process of trying to, like, PayPal people and stuff mm. that wanted it. And it was just a mess. Yeah. So I wanted to have oh, it yeah. front. Yeah, crowdfunding sucks. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of freaking work. Why do you think I use Indie Planner a lot? I don't know. Why do you, J.D.? To avoid the headaches of a crowdfunding, of course. (laughs) Was that a punchline? Felt like that was a lead. It might have been. No, it is not. Felt like that was. No, it's not. Actually, I was telling you the truth. It it is better. Knock knock. It it ain't there. Whatever. Crump. Crump. It's digital, isn't it? Yeah, actually, print on demand mostly. 
what cool. they do on print demand yeah. is that they order a comic book copy on on the site and then they the company that owns the print on demand service then prints the comic for the person then they send it to the person well, what kind of royalties do you get off that oh you can set your own i want a million dollars all they all <clears throat> Yeah, basically all they all you have to all you have to do is just pretty much set up how much royalties you want, and also you have to set the price enough to you know you can't set it lower than the print cost. That's the only rule. One million dollars. Oh no, that'd be ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, usually that's how they make their money back. They print the books it's for so you. So ridiculous, it just might work. Tell me about it. Well, you know, if someone can sell a digital NFT for, what was it, half a billion dollars, then I'm pretty sure you can mm -hmm. sell a comic yeah. for a million. A million dollars. Selling comics for um, $30, well, meant is, $40, $50. A million? No, they, it's a print on, they use specialized technology to print the comic book real fast. You know what I'm saying? technology called a printer. Like a printer? I think they use a specialized printer for it. A special comic making. It's not printer. really a normal. I need. Yeah, tell. pretty much. It's I need. Tell. Uh, it's was custom made name? mostly. Comic-tron three thousand. The Comic-tron. I need to tell. I need to tell. Uh, what's the name? The guy from Alterna. Um. Uh. Wow. Peter Smitty. Yeah, Peter. I need to tell Peter about this. Peter Smitty. Yeah. Yeah. About this oh. amazing. Comic. Well, I would guess since it's a uh, print on demand, it's not offset printing. Why not? It's usually you know yeah, a lot bigger no runs. Print. Yeah. Uh, actually, the cool thing is that what it is is that print on demand means it's not offset, and it's digital and stuff, and a lot kind of the same process they use on photographs and stuff, the posters. Sometimes, I don't know what other. Print services can do it, but it's better than offset, you know. Hmm. And it actually saves you a lot of money on, you know, you don't have to buy a, a warehouse to store all your books. Okay, it's more direct. Well, I, I've, I've never sold enough books to need a warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> I have all of my books underneath. I know. My I'm, table. I'm just using it as an example. Yeah. One day. Drift. Is that your new thing, JD? Catch my drift? What? Is that your new thing? I don't no, know. No, no, no. I need to know. I need to know. No. I need to know. Oh, great. Not again. <laughs> it's no longer. <laughs> you know, uh, what, what was it? Oh, crap. Now I forgot. Tell me about it. Tell me about tell it. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's no longer tell me about it. It's catch my drift. Okay. We'll Fair enough. That. <laughs> We're doing this. We're making this happen. <laughs> Get my drift. <laughs> yeah. Booyah! Yeah. I can't wait till <laughs> Chester comes back. Everybody needs to start saying "Catch my drift." Can you guys hear me? <laughs> oh, Literally. Yeah, hear yeah. I can hear. Who's there? What's going on? Oh, hey, what's up? Booster, you're here. No. Yeah, that's Booster. Yeah. That's booster. Yeah. Okay, I sound just like oh, a Kiwi. Booster. Oh, hi guys. You like my ants? Like my yeah. accent right now? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> you won't believe I've been faking like I was from New Zealand this whole time. I knew it. I'm a faker. No, no, that's not Booster. Oh, it isn't? Oh, no. This is Booster. We were all Crap. cool. I'm not Booster. It's, it's, it's Mr. Mater Mr. Meticular. Mr. Uh, Miracle. <laughs> AKA, if you uh, say his name backwards, what? he'll disappear. Mr. Meticular. Mr. Meticular. <laughs> Mr. Meticular at your service. Mr. Mr. Catch my drift. Yeah. I'm a little late. A little late getting in. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, here's a funny thing. Um, the other day, I just had a rough day, and today I just didn't have much of doing anything. I was just bored all day because basically, my mom had to go to the. Um, Go to Winston Salem to get a her leg checked uh, because you so gotta have when you're bored in Alaska. Alaska. So when you're oh. bored, what do you do in Alaska when you're bored? 
hunt bears. We have knife throwing kind. I would say I was gonna say hunt bears definitely. Yeah. How close uh, none of bears we put on extinction in Oregon. They're pickle sure. herring. Pickle herring. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bounce off of you guys. You catch me How close is Portland to where you live in Oregon? There, JD. No, I'm not near Portland. So thank God for that. Ugh. Man, that place is crazy. I heard Are you closer that, to I Seattle? North Carolina, guys. I heard We're, that... I'm actually closer to Martinsville. You know, Martinsville, Virginia? That, um, Martinsville? Because our town is, is like close Martinsville? to the... Martinsville? Martinsville. I think you know, that's really close to like like Waco. Are we talk about East now, Illinois but... again. Yeah. No, uh, we're, no, we're North talking Carolina, about, you know, I'm well, actually on the board, border, near the border. Idaho. Yeah, we're talking about Idaho. Idaho, Idaho okay. if you catch my drift. You're I heard that the catch my drift. people in Oregon right. are now, heard people in Oregon are now trying to succeed to Idaho. Yeah, they should. Yeah, here's I a funny would. thing. Here's, here's a funny thing. Um, okay. Hey, tell me about it, right? Do I sound almost like Booster? Not nope. even, no. That sounded nope. like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably sound like Peter Griffin out of my mouth. <laughs> A lot closer to Peter Griffin now. Wait, tell me about it. <clears throat> tell me about it. 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 No, no, it's the JD. <laughs> stop. <I> stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. He's trying to just... I just wanted to test it. Sibilance, sibilance, check, check, check. Goodness gracious. Uh, well, I am back looking at the art here. Uh, it sounds like you guys are having a fun conversation. I uh, do appreciate you guys coming on. We're doing something a little unscripted today. We are uh, uh, showing a, a little bit of uh, a tribute here to uh, Kentaro uh, Miura, uh, the creator of Berserk. Uh, he did pass away here recently, and uh, <clears throat> it's quite sad. He was very, very young. Uh, so thank you for coming and being part of that. We do hope you guys are doing the draw along. Uh, and uh, doing some of his uh, uh, various uh, works. He's got a good seven, eight, nine characters that he's uh, well known for. Uh, and, uh, of course, he's involved in a lot of things I didn't know he was involved with, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but uh, definitely go over to uh, Twitter and put that at hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. And we'll take a look at that at the end of the show. Uh, we got about uh, 40 minutes left. Uh, Booster has abandoned us, uh, so there you go. He had to go. He said he had a doctor's appointment. He said yeah, he had a doctor's appointment. That's right. Uh, he's probably. You better uh, start making a. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, have to. I'm probably going to have to do a memorial. Boost a memorial next week. Fair enough. Yeah. 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 We might, he might lose the young man. You know, he's even younger than JD. Did you know that? No, he's not. Yeah, he is. JD's 32. Booster is 29. No way, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. JD, you're 32? Correct. Almost, uh, actually, I'm 33 this year. Uh, around uh, July 29th, uh, so yeah. I should be respecting you. I should be respecting you more. You're older than me. Like oh. Wait, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you, 31, Zach? Yeah. All you youngins. You young Life hit me hard. Zach was older than me. Well, a lot of you guys around that age, uh, Kima's in, uh, like 30 something. I'm 34. 34. Uh, Amaran is around that age. You're what, 30, 30 something as well, right? 46. 46? Yeah, Amaran's yes. 46? <laughs> yeah. Well, shit, you're going to die soon. That sucks. Yeah, I know. Well, in Australia too. Oh yeah, my god. Oh god. I thought cool. you were I thought you were 30 something, dude. Oh, well, good on I you then, Amaran. No, we had this conversation before, actually. I just <laughs> yeah, chose to forget. Oh, yeah, he's, okay. in our, he's in our age group. Yeah. You well, you just come off very recently. youthful and vibrant. You know, what do you want? Don't expect me to remember shit. Um, I, I know that uh, uh, Elrod is 72. Um, and uh, 73. So, it's sorry, it's it, it's it's been gone. Time's gone by. Uh, Rabbit but, is but like I 43 like or 44. With all rocket attacks. No, not, I'm not that old. <laughs> well, for I'm sorry, 41. That's closer. Oh, all right, all right, getting 43. all pinky. 
so yeah, it's a mixed crew here for sure. And uh, uh, Rod, how are the rock attacks doing for you? Ah, uh, you know, comes and goes. Yeah, well, you I've know. had better days. You know. Did you say rocket attacks? Who is he? In? Is he in? Is he on the Gaza Strip or something? That's that was the. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's what I've been told, apparently, for a fact that I am on. <laughs> he even argued with you. No, yes, you are. You're from. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't I was talking, like... <laughs> dude. I wasn't talking to Elrod. I was talking to Hellrod. It's Elrod. No, it's not. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is Elrod. Real house. <laughs> well, yeah, but we had a guy who was on here year, uh, uh, like a year and a half ago, uh, an artist. His name was Hellrod, um, and he's from is he's an Israeli. Mm, so did you sounds... steal someone's identity, Elrod? It sounds like you're having a Biden moment. No, uh, no, yes. <laughs> yep. no. I'm, I'm checking. Are you sure his name was Al Halrod? <laughs> sure. uh, I'm gonna go check. Yeah, maybe it was something else. Yeah. We did. We did. We were on his channel, like for one episode, right? Yeah, we were. Is that the guy you're we were. About? Yeah, that's who I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's not Halrod. Be sure. I'm looking. Yeah. I just thought it was him. Uh, I hadn't seen him in a while. I just thought he was back. I'm checking, though. Yeah, that was so funny. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Elrod. What's he yeah. talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I was, thought I was talking to a, a person I thought I was talking to. Yeah. <laughs> That's what made it so funny, though. That's a fine. good bit, Chester. That, that is good. We know you're playing around. Yeah. He's just one of those artists that kind of disappeared. Yeah, he did disappear. What was his name? Hellrod. Um, mm, I doubt it. No, his name was Hellrod. I spoke to him nah, very specifically. I so he's probably you, dead, then, because I probably put him in a shallow grave. They're, they're fair. They're okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. I'm stealing my moniker. Jeez, you look up drawn and quartered, all I can find is... Come to think of it, Elrod kind of just showed up out of nowhere, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did. Oh, mm. Conspiracy. <laughs> right after JFK. That was when we were, like, switching from your channel to other people's channels every day. can't remember the tag he went under. Um, some comic uh, tag. Huh. Yeah. I'm looking. He was doing that uh that, that fun little comic he was working on too. New hero comic. Yeah. What's his name? Damn Maybe. it. Officially unlocked Pandora's box. Well I'm i I'm looking. It's new it's under New Hero Comics, it's episode 8. We did Spider-Man. He's got a yamaka. Yeah, that's right. New Hero Comics. There it is. Oh, Hillel. Damn it. All right. See? Oh, my God. He's, he's named after Muslim meat. Come on. Hillel. Hillel. Sorry. It was, it was an H. Yeah, it was a Biden moment. That was a, that was a Biden moment. If I've ever heard one. <laughs> I just thought he was back. I, uh, I've been Hello. thinking that for, uh, to Come be on, fair, man. for weeks. So on, you, good on you, Elrod. You got me. Come on, man. You know the thing. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. What episode are we on now? I have no clue. 3,000. I'd say over 100 Three. easy. You do a couple hundred episodes, I guess. You just kind of like fifty slipping. more than Mike with all of his quitting. Dude, we have like <laughs> almost eight hundred. No, I don't know seven seven hundred some odd uh, videos on this channel, dude. It's kind of crazy. Counting. Oh, well, he was curious. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. No, he's a nice guy. Imagine. Go ahead. I was saying, I, I went back and watched some of the older videos before I, I found you guys. I was watching you uh, walk around the Tokyo comic show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. 
I was looking at the uh, naked ladies. Yeah, the only white guy there. <laughs> you were the only white guy there. <laughs> nah, there were a couple, but not many. Not many, <laughs> that's true. But uh, that's okay. I speak the language, so, you know, it works out. Did it freak out the other white guys when you were speaking Japanese? I, I didn't really pay attention, but maybe. Because they were probably like, mm, let's go talk to him. He's one of us. They, you know, that happens a like, oh. lot, Elrod. That happens a lot. Yeah, actually, the 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 foreigners always want to group together. Mm -hmm. feel one of us. One of us. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun movie. <clears throat> well, I guess you can't make that movie these days, huh? Nope. All those freaking movies now. Can't nowadays. get any work now. It's can't unfair. make much of any movies nowadays. It's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yep. we've reached the apex. They'd game probably person. cancel. cancel. Uh, they'd probably cancel Kentaro if they could nowadays. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, curious. Uh, no, his name was Hillel. I, I made a mistake. I thought uh, I just. You know, I made a mistake. Uh, but um, I, I, I kind of miss him. I'm gonna, I should go check him out and see what's going on because I love talking to him. He was a That's nice a guy. There's a lot of people I can't remember. There are, dude. Disappeared. Yeah, Disappeared. I don't know why. Hi, Adrian, Danny, by the way. Nice, around, nice to talk to you. How's it going? It's going well. Yeah, I, I was going to get on earlier so I could talk about my love for Berserk, but... I missed out that conversation. Well, you can have it now. Go right ahead. Well, it, it, it holds a special place in my heart because um, it's one of those things I was going through a rough time when I discovered it, and it helped me get through it, basically. Really? Well, that's uh, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. The message of the, of the story. It, I mean, this guy has everything thrown at him, literally. And he just keeps going and that kind of that kind of message like you just don't find those type of heroes much anymore. that is true he he literally went through hell which was the point yeah yeah he literally goes through hell and he doesn't give up yeah he almost gives up but he doesn't yeah, well, that's the great thing uh, that I do li love about the last bit of the uh, that really good first an uh, uh, anime they did. Uh, was, you know, with the woman broken as she was and stuff and you know, him just kind of picking up and missing an eye and everything and just taking a step forward. It was a good point. Good moment. Well, that's cool, dude. Yeah, I was going through, like, a really rough time and I discovered the anime. No clue what it was. Just... It was at like a store, I think it was like a media play back in the day, and picked it up on the whim and just started watching it, and it helped me get through that time. It really did. Like, it's weird how stuff like that, like shows, can help you get through things that you're going through. It. I was young, you know, I was like in my... But, um... And his art has been a big influence on how I do art as well. Well, he's a really good artist. That's for damn sure. You know, I'm actually looking at JD's stuff today, and it's not bad. You guys see what JD's doing today? I'm scared. I have not looked yet. I will it's, have to take a look. It's not bad, dude. I can define that it, that is a soldier of some kind. Oh, that's got bound the, his way out of hell. Yeah, no, I get it, JD. I was complimenting you. Uh, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, uh, a lot of things like that happen, Adrian. There's a lot Thanks. of uh, medium uh, that help people in various situations go to relate to something and uh, to focus on something, really. It's, um, that is, uh, happens all the time. It's good. You know what series is getting me through the day today? Pop tarts? Have, no, that's not a series. Um, no, like the Last Airbender. Oh, I haven't watched that. Oddly ages. enough, yeah. Oddly enough, that's like kind of like been like the thing. I was like, oh man, 
we're so effed, and then I'm watching this and like, yeah, no, we're really effed, but it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was a really good series, dude. It really was. Not, I'm not talking about Korra. I'm talking about just the first part. Oh, no, Korra. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we, no one yeah, talks about Korra, Korra dude. No, we don't need that crap. Yeah, Korra is the black sheep of the family. <laughs> well, it just wasn't as good. <clears throat> when it came out, my daughter was really excited to watch it. Uh, I know mm-hmm. we watched three episodes, I think, and she was, mm-hmm. nope, she was done. Yep, really? that's about the same. Interesting, because I know fans of the Airbender series that love Korra even more. So. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. No, I, don't, I, I, I mean, they probably I all live with their parents. Well, they, well they I thought it was, uh, you know, like I said, we only watched three episodes of it, but um, I just thought it was kind of boring. I don't know. Because uh, I watched the original Airbender with the kids, and I was as uh, excited as they were to watch the next episode. It was really good. It was a great show. Um, <clears throat> but uh, she no, I it. did not like it, man. <laughs> What did you think? I uh, yeah, I watched. Well, I didn't watch it all the way through. I've watched episodes here and there, and yeah, it was like, it's kind of it was an addictive show to watch. It's like, yeah. You talk about Korra or, or, or Avatar? Avatar, the original, yeah. Yeah, no, it was yeah. great. Yeah, I, I'm not into that other one, no. Yeah, uh, Adrian, I, I'm sure there are people who absolutely love it, but uh, and and we the episodes we saw were before they decided to get political about it too, so this was just yeah. the intended series. Uh, but uh, like I said, my my daughter just noped right out of it. Uh, but it's interesting with kids um, uh, because the honesty of children is very valuable valuable thing to pay attention to. Um, I uh, showed them uh, the Star Wars trilogy when they were young, uh, you know, in order. You know, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, etc. And they they loved the first three. They loved it. They were just their eyes were just stuck to the screen. They adored it. Uh, and then I put in uh, uh, Phantom Menace, and they got up and walked out of the room within thirty minutes. So are you saying Phantom Menace was bad, or your kids were like, Dad, why isn't there any incest in this one? Yeah, well, maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, but I'm, but I'm just saying that because they're 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 children, right? <laughs> And children like what they like, and they, they don't. Uh, children haven't learned uh, the idea of uh, subtlety or uh, uh, mercy or no these kind of all. things. They there's haven't no learned book. them yet, you know. Yeah, there's no. I mean, the Phantom Menace was super like, exciting. All those long, drawn-out board meetings. And... Yeah, it was boring <laughs> as hell. You, you were saying love that. Really we should have trade routes is in dispute. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kids you were saying something, Adrian. Away from... Oh, kids won't shy away from telling you that they don't want to watch something. Yeah, no, they don't, because they have no decorum yet. They haven't learned it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and actually, Fan Minnows, you won't believe this, but me and my dad stayed out in the heat to uh, wait for that movie, and guess, you know, in the near the theater, uh-huh. and it sucked. I mean, it wasn't worth it. Can't well, believe it. that's yeah, fair, yeah, that's uh, that's JD, kind of but funny. your father's... Uh, that was a uh, common thing. Uh, who your father is is still in question, so you know, kind of, you know, be careful with that. I can't believe it. So when you and Chester okay, were waiting okay. in line Look overnight in the horrible heat. No, I, I meant my actual, actual guy. I think he's just my dad. He, you know, no, no. Well, oh, that's your father. father. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Possible dad number three. <laughs> yeah, but I'm uh, uh, here. Card, yeah. Garden moment. Hey, we got Edwin in here. What's up, dude? Hey, Edwin. So you gotta you gotta uh, do another show today, Elrod. You guys uh, still doing the uh, Lord of the Rings? Ah, oh, I think something's going on over there. I think it's a cool idea. I have Edwin reading and you drawing, and that's cool, man. It's a good idea. Yeah. Well, it's, <clears> it's <throat> kind of made me respect the books in a different way since you know. Actually, I believe I've almost been sitting here for two right. minutes and no one acknowledged my entry. Oh, who uh, the fuck is this guy? Oh, geez. Hey, Adrian's here. Who's just told us you were here like 10 minutes ago. Hey, Adrian. Let's go. Huh? Hey, Booster. Lying. You're just in time to do your job. That's good, man. Good timing. Ah, sh- shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. I've got another thing I got to uh, okay. oh, How was your doctor's well, appointment? Hard. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, Are you alive? Oh, I got, I, I got the hard word. You got the hard <laughs> word. What does that mean? Uh, Americans trouble. Trouble. Uh, I'm in trouble. I, was, oh. I got told off. Oh, okay. And what did the doctor uh, tell you? What's the diagnosis? After, 
I have to keep taking my pills or I'm gonna die. Uh huh. I'm like, fine, I'll keep taking my pills. Someone so, take yeah. these pills. What are the pills? Uh, none of your concern. <laughs> none of my concern. Uh, you are my co host, sir. I do believe there is a concern that I can have. Look. We oh, yeah. already lost Excellent. one creative genius. We don't need to lose another creative genius. I know. There you go. That's true. Oh, uh, see, see, Adrian knows how to do it. It's like up to my ego that. <laughs> but but uh, that always helps. We would all miss the kiwi. Yeah, we oh, would. Yeah. I am we a would, little bit confused though, uh, Booster, because I'm like 50 years yeah. old and I don't have pills, and you're not even 30 yeah. yet. Um, shit diet mixed with shit genes. No? My dad had bad cholesterol. My granddad has bad cholesterol. I have bad cholesterol. Well, you know how you, you fix that? Oh, uh, well, tell me, Chester. Tell me uh, what I already know. Stop eating fatty shit. Don't here's fry thing, food. Don't great grease stuff. Here's, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. On my way home from the doctors, I did have fried chicken and gravy. Oh, there you go. There you, there you go. <laughs> there you go. All righty. There's a thing, right? I can be told concerned. I'm on the. I could be on. Uh, uh, been a better voice. I could be told I'm gonna die in a year, and I'm still buying fried chicken. <laughs> did you like? Uh, did you like text a picture of you eating that to your doctor? Hey, this is delicious. I know we just talked about this, but. <laughs> Yeah, no, Edwin, uh, uh, Elrod is very fast. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I like that Hulk comic said, now this is pod racing. Um, <laughs> that's, my, that's my favorite prequel quote. Is that quote. a laser sword? Is that a laser? That is so Jedi. Yeah. You are, are you like one of those Jedi guys? The new movies come off like that, though, don't angel? they? They do come off like that. That's sad. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. Those, are the, those are quotes from the prequels, just the... Yeah, no, those weren't great either, but uh, they're gold compared to this crap we got recently, dude. I love them on a different yes. level. I appreciate them the same yes. level I appreciate the room. At least at least the, the prequels have that going for them. Uh, yeah, well, no. At least they have good, decent fights in them a lot of times. They do. Um, and if you approach the prequels from a different point of view, if you look at this, this, this is a diplomatic... Uh, diplomatic adventure. If you look at it like from that <laughs> point of view, you can enjoy it a little bit. Oh, it makes it exciting. No, yeah. you're, you're enjoying them completely wrong. You have to get for all the cheesy little quotes. Hello there. Yeah, and uh, General Kenobi. All that kind of shit. Oh, God. You know, also, I don't like so Will McGregor's Obi-Wan is perfect. Hello there. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, I'm but, a sexy little devil, aren't I? He is great at it, but the, his character is absolute crap. There's plot holes everywhere, dude. Everywhere. That is completely incorrect. There are no plot holes. He just hellos them out of there. That's okay. kind of the problem. If there were no plot, plot holes, holes, we could fill it in with better imagination. <laughs> just completely wrong. Owen McGregor's Obi Wan is That was perfect. kind of the magic of the original Star Wars: is the plot holes made it better. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> they left it to your imagination. Yeah. Which they won't mm -hmm. do now. I'm just saying, it's perfect. Uh, 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 the proof's in the pudding, man. I showed my kids the first three Star Wars. They adored it. And then I showed them, uh, started, tried to show them the prequels, and they literally walked out. So, I, mean, I, uh, I stopped listening when you say pudding, Chester. I'm going to go get some pudding. Oh, fair enough. There you go. Cholesterol <laughs> incoming. Who say pudding? Do you mean actual pudding, or is it like the British? It's the fried bread <laughs> crap, I'm sure. That's yeah. Yeah. Fried bread. Fried bread. I don't know what you're on about. Fried bread's disgusting. Uh, well, British pudding is not what Americans call pudding. I think it depends on what you mean by pudding. Pudding normally means dessert. Well, oh. What do you mean when you say pudding? <laughs> Over here, it means Bill Cosby. It means Bill Cosby. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, Thank you, you put a little bit of pudding and you drink. <laughs> I, I still can't believe Bill got in trouble for sharing drugs with girls and then having sex with them. How is this criminal? Let me just go to hell. Let me 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 go to hell. Let me
it's criminal because those women didn't get a career out of it. Oh, fair enough, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hit that table. <laughs> yeah. He broke a contractual Basically. agreement. He's like, sleep with me when I'll make you famous, you see? And they're like, oh, <laughs> all right. Uh. And they're like, Bill, uh, we're I supposed think the to make thing is just like, oh, 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 oh. attention hungry horse. It's just a bunch of attention hungry whores, I guess. Hungry horses? Okay. Uh, yes, all right. Good. <laughs> JD, JD, the adults are talking. JD. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. No, no, I was talking I was talking about the women who said the Me Too ladies, they're kind of attention whores. Rudy uh, would never right. you, haven't met, you haven't met many women, JD. Uh, Edwin says uh, the bits of Christopher Lee were good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think there were many bits that were good, uh, but it's just not that high fun adventure good. of uh, Star Wars. And that's true with Christopher Lee. Um, and it's own oh, and Edwin had each Star Wars, Wars anyway. I had tons of fun with Christopher Lee. What's up, Bixa? Miss a carry movie. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Walter was like the best character ever. <laughs> oh, both are secret so far. <laughs> what? You're, you're yeah, that's Jedi. true, Edwin. You yeah, and not talking about Greedo. Or not Greedo. So, what's the little Pluto guy? Watto. 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 Hey! Your stupid trick not to work on me, America. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, eat the kebab. How long do you say we have? Why uh, I would say that <laughs> you have yourself about 15 minutes and things have gone straight to hell because Booster came That's out. The, well, it's fine. I'm never going to finish it. I don't think you can see it, right? My camera's showing it backwards as well. That's all right. It looks good, though. I was just looking at it a minute ago. Uh, I've got a fix on people. Yeah, you do. That's okay. Uh, but uh, as Booster is preparing the straw poll, and uh, of course, we'll go take a look at the draw along as well. Uh, keep in mind, we do have 15 minutes left, and uh, we will be dropping that straw poll after we show you all the art. Uh, and of course, today we are doing a uh, Kentaro Miura uh, tribute. Uh, the creator of Berserk and, and other things uh, passed away uh, from uh, aortic... Um, uh, failure, I guess. We'll just put it that way. Uh, um... Oh, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Please continue. Oh no. Okay. No problem. Uh, uh, but um... an Italian version of Jar Jar. How do? I, how would you do that? I miss a lord. Mm, it's a like the pizza. It's a like the pizza. It's 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 the pizza. It's like 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 the pizza. the Italian one is less racist. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Although I don't know why I've ever met an Italian that wasn't racist. Ciao! I'm a no that's longer true. a black stereotype. <laughs> I'm an Italian, that's okay. Was is it just me or yeah, did anybody else I'm trying just... to get like a get like a Mexican vibe from General Grievous? Uh actually I, I did not. get that vibe off of him. I was thinking. He almost he... sounds like that guy who played Machete. Oh sorry. Yep. Nature Hill? Danny Trejo. No, 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 no. The... Danny Trejo. Um, Danny Trejo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, That's what I said. That's what I like it, but a little more flamboyant That's what version. I said. <laughs> yeah, no, Edwin, uh, all those uh, things, Jules Verne, Asimov, and were, were great reading. That's true. Uh, but Star, Star Wars was just, you know, the original Star Wars was just fun in space, man. Uh, it just hit. It just hit. Um, and there were many other things that were trying to hit. That one just is the one that did hit. And the people liked it, and then it got copied forever. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I wish we did have more uh, uh, adaptations of some of these great old stories that uh, we don't get. Although, we did get Blade Runner, and that was a great uh, 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 representation of Dick's book, I think. Uh, and this, the second one was good, too. Yeah, I ain't got the book. Yeah. I'm such a nerd for that movie. 
It's, you yeah. know, there's another one. I, I sat my son down before he went to university, and uh, I uh, well, the, the last movie we watched before he took off was uh, Blade Runner, and he loved it. And that's an 18 year old kid. Yeah, Blade Runner is great. Um, I yeah. will say, uh, Philip K. Dick is like one of the most adapted. Wasn't that John Candy's last movie? Well, Science fiction authors, I think there he is, is actually like they've <laughs> adapted many of his stories in the film. He is, you're right. I mean, he's good though. It's really good if you ever read yeah. his books. I suggest you go read the books. Oh, yeah. They're really, really good. But I mean, I love no, Asimov I love his as short well. Stories. I read a lot of his short stories. I can't get into Asimov. I've tried. I just... You know who I used to yeah, read Asimov a lot. Kind of a snore. No, I like Asimov. Um, uh, one of the things I, I read a lot of when I was younger, and I haven't heard his name in years, is uh, Bradbury. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy. Oh, his right? Book. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead. Oh, I'm sure he is. Dead. Ray on... Bradbury Theater. Yeah. Ray Bradbury. Uh, yeah, but he's got really good books, man. I enjoyed his. Uh, I, I read a lot of his stuff. The short stories are good. Yeah, I read a lot of Zane Grey too. Zane Grey. Now, was Zane Grey a person or many people? I don't know. I just read the book. Is it like Louis Lamar, where there was a Louis Lamar, but like the majority of his books are ghost writers? Who? Because he was dead by the. I don't know. Let me go check. Who's, who's Zane Grey? Uh, Western. All those Westerns. Oh, like okay. a Louis I Lamar. I've, I never read much Western. Zane Greys are better. They're. I don't know. I like Zane Grey a lot. Yeah. Did Howard it's, write it's under less, the? It's less formulaic than uh, Lamore. Did Robert E. Howard write w- under the name Robert E. Howard for his westerns, or did he have like a pen name? I don't. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know if he did because most of those are, you know, if they're in print, they're reprints now. So I, I think a lot of them probably were pseudonyms, right? Because I would imagine because of the way the writing world. He wrote works. so much. Yeah. And back then, you they, kind of had to have a different <clears throat> name for every reading, type of story you did. Oh, I was just reading an article about how they discovered more of his writing. Oh, did they? Yeah, no, I'm sitting here looking at it right now, and uh, yep, no, he wrote all of them, and a lot of them. Hmm. I actually hadn't read all of them. I thought I had, but I have not. I yeah, like my Zane uncle Gray. had, like, stacked of those down. Well, that's that's the thing. My dad loved Zane Gray, and he read it all the time, so it was just sitting around, so I picked it up. Um, Can you read uh, The Executioner? Mac Bowling? Uh, The name sounds familiar. Mac Bowling books. The the early ones are really cool. That's where they uh, plagiarized the Punisher from. Oh, really? Yeah, and they they admitted it. Like, Jerry Conway was like, yeah, I stole it from that. I just put a skull on a sweater. (laughs) There you go. Uh, <clears throat> now that is true, Edwin. I agree with that. Uh, with the Dixon comment there, yeah. <clears throat> there, but read E. Smith, the Lensman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now here now we're talking about books and reading a lot. Do do people read anymore? Booster. I just I've been reading like three books. You're asking Booster. Uh, Booster's yeah. not Pickle very good Booster. at reading, but I uh, listen to audio books on occasion. Oh, oh, oh okay. I thought I just heard Brad. I didn't. It is Brad. It sounded like it. It is a Brad. I heard a Brad. Brad. The wild Brad has entered. Yeah, someone's here. You know, I don't know who it is. Brad. Hey, Brad. Quiet. It's been forever. <laughs> it has been quiet. a lot. And he's drawing too, dude. Look at that. What? Yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'm showing yeah, everybody. Doing? We're doing well. I'm showing here. everyone. Yeah. Was it Booster who's reading? I, I, I mean, that's like a myth. Yeah, I, I was trying to check. I was checking. Now you're of a uh, you're you're kind of a, in the older guy crowd, Brad. Uh, um, uh, what what uh, is your favorite writer? Who is your favorite writer? Um, right now I'm I'm actually uh, doing a lot of. Uh, Brandon Sanderson books. So, okay. Ooh, good yeah, choice. He's local, and I know the guy. What was that? So. Daniel Still? What? 
Yeah, so uh, Brandon Sanderson books, so like uh, Storm, Stormlight Archive. Uh, I did all the Mistborn already, so, you know, stuff like that. Bay of Kings is one of my favorite books. It is, yeah. I, I'm uh, Rhythm of War, I gotta get to that one. It's the new one, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm behind them. I'm reading The Wheel of Time once yet again. Are you? Okay. I couldn't do that one. <laughs> well, there was an author I read a book from. I can't remember the name, though. I really like the book, though. There was a guy, he was, I think he had, like, leprosy or something. He was dying. And um, uh, in his dreams, or sub subconscious, he went uh, into this fantasy world and... Uh, it's like a, you know, kind of a high fantasy type of Tolkien-esque world. And I remember everybody had like licensing levels, like, uh, the, one of the characters was like a seamstress level six or something like that. Uh, who was, it was pretty oh, famous. Book. No, no, no. Who, anybody? Anybody. Am I sure the myth series? Stop or my mom will shoot. No, no, <laughs> that, that's not it. I can't I mean, remember. Yeah, I don't know. I, ever read. I like sound. that book though. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I'm also reading uh, two nonfiction books. Uh, one is about. Uh, you can't hear anyone? Called... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. One, is... one second, please. Uh, oh, I see. Um, uh, Eric is. I'm right, sorry. Go ahead. Continue. Oh. <clears throat> one of the books is called The Parthenon Code, and it's about the uh, Parthenon, and, and a guy has a theory about it telling the. Uh, story of genesis and noah in the bible oh okay rather interesting um and then the other one is about uh i forget the name of it right off the top of my head but it's about the uh mounds throughout all of america oh that might be interesting yeah yeah and edwin and, has come uh, through by the way it's the chronicles of thomas covenant Ooh, thank you sir oh yes i've heard of that yeah. Um, but it's about how the Indians originally claimed them because they wanted land, pretty much, from the government. Yeah, and sure. They were handing out land. But in recent years, they've kind of admitted that they didn't create the mound. Well, we know they didn't. Before they got there. <laughs> uh, well, the Native Americans, uh, they play a lot of... Um... A lot of those kind of games, dude. But I don't blame them, though. I mean, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I get it, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, this the... guy, he gets, he gets into the idea that they were created by a, a race of giants. Oh, well, you know, they've definitely found a, line, a lot of uh, two, uh, two and a half, three meter uh, skeletons in America, and that's for sure. Yes, legend. No, thank you very much, Edwin. Yeah, I love that series. Uh, I, I can't believe I forgot the name of it, but uh, uh, that was just fun. I really I really got into it. I was young when I read those two. Uh, uh, the the Parthenon Code. Uh, to uh, Has anyone read the Parthenon Code? No. Mm -hmm. No. Too many syllables. No. Yeah. <laughs> However, we've been talking about a lot of books and a lot of stories that... Uh, uh, it would be kind of neat to see in a movie form instead of people trying to keep copying shit that's already been made. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, you want those books just listed to be ruined? Yeah. Well, no, I want them to be adapted beautifully is what I want. Mr. You know they like, won't. They have in the <laughs> like, past. Look, uh, yeah, we're not talking about the past, Chester. We're talking about yeah. now where everything sucks. Well, there could be a rebel in the, in yeah, the mix somewhere. Well, you'd hope so, but you got to wait a few years for you know one of those uh, rebels to pop up, make a good movie. Then you start hoping they adapt the good stuff that you want. It's too, sure. it's too bad it's not that white TD guy. Oh well. Mm -hmm. you know, even <laughs> Peter Jackson, you know, isn't Peter Jackson anymore. You know. That's true. So it's like. That is true. He did Peter make Jackson those Hobbit movies. They yeah, they weren't great. He he should have given like. Uh, it was more like, what if Lord of the Rings was just CG? <laughs> yeah, right? Well, I mean, he should have got out of the way and let Guillermo del Toro do it, as was the plan. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I would have loved to have seen that, dude. Job. 
Yeah. I probably wouldn't have been as whimsical, though. I probably would have been a bit more gothic, but I think that would have been cool. Cool to see. Yeah, but well, also very whimsical. Yeah, something different uh, to yeah. the juxtaposed next to the Lord of the Rings would have been nice, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure Smell would, would have you... looked amazing. Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would have been more hand eye, guys. I love that. <laughs> That's true. There would have been a ton. Love those things. I don't, uh, even, I don't even get it. Oh, <laughs> Alan, they held your uh, your comment for review just because his, uh, he says, I, li I love white TT. Now, why? What's wrong with, <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> YouTube. Where the white girls at? Where are the white girls at? Uh, I want some big titty white girls. Yeah. Uh, we got like a minute left, guys, so I uh, try to wrap it up. Okay, great. Um, and uh, uh, this was fun today. I, I enjoyed the conversation. Uh, and uh, it's kind of sad uh, uh, seeing uh, uh, where we are attributing the death of uh, uh, Miura san. And um, way too young to die, dude. Way, way too young. Um, and um, I don't know what will happen. I, just, uh, I was worked to death, though, from uh, a friend of mine was reading out uh, some of the things he was saying about his work schedule and everything and he would have about uh two days free for several months right he'd have a day off once every yeah. few months and he'd be locked inside all day that's... and if he tried walking outside he got heat struck and would collapse all the time yeah it was but just that's... so even worked. that's his choice though yeah yeah he, he's insane. been saying yeah yeah he, he was like that since he was a kid detail in those drawings. yeah that's that's no way to live obviously he never left the table yeah uh, but you know it is it is ridiculously sad, and uh, and seeing as uh, how I know Japan, there's no way anyone's going to pick that up. That would be incredibly disrespectful. Uh, so you're not going to see any more. There will be no more of the manga from him. No, that's yeah. good. The manga finished. That's the same in a good thing place. That ha That's the same thing that happened with High School of the Dead. The author died of that as well before he could finish that, and they never f continued it. God damn, it out. was very average, but it was fun, I suppose. Yeah, have you ever read the manga? I don't know what the manga's like. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the only time I've seen them, uh, they didn't continue it. They made something new, but they did a, an homage that has been going on for two decades now. Uh, there was a lady who uh, did like a little strip. Uh, and uh, uh, they kind of tell her story from her life in a kind of family show called Chibi Maruko. Uh, but uh, that's the only time I've seen any kind of continuation of anything. And like I said, it wasn't a real continuation. Uh, but uh, yeah, Japanese are real strict about that stuff, man. Because, you know, one of the things, questions I get, because, you know, I tell people that I, uh, uh, the, the kids, because kids love the YouTube stuff, right? So I, I tell the kids, yeah, well, I do a... Um, uh, I do a YouTube channel about comic books, and uh, uh, the question, you know, therefore it starts a conversation. And the question that I always ask me is, oh, why don't they stop? That's I mean, it's a comic. Well, no, because the Japanese don't understand the concept. Uh, you tell a story, and it has a beginning, middle, and end, and it's done. They you don't mean understand. The concept that Superman is still being Superman. Even like a later. story should be. Well, yeah, but that's right, Elrod. They, they don't. They don't understand. Why would a new artist do it? What? They don't get that concept. Well, to be honest, I don't think people in the West understand it either, because those comics aren't selling a lot, are they? No, they're not. Mm -hmm. I think Mon it's like it's like a short-term fix. Like people get into it, then they're like, "Oh, wait a minute, it's never ending." All right, moving on. Um, Junker, are you done? You're right with Anpaman, but that's the animation. It's not the original uh, uh, manga art uh, that the man created. Uh, of course, Anpaman, you got to remember, in the beginning was created to teach kids good dental health care. It was more oh, of really? a governmental program. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about a, a kid, a little kid show over here. Uh, Junker done's in Tokyo, by the way. A little bit oh, some, like uh, some Go Nagi stuff that's been adapted by other people. Yeah, I'm sure there are examples, uh, but uh, I, uh, there's probably a convoluted like reason a, why. Well, I'm pretty sure that there was some Mazinger stuff that was done by other people. 
uh, uh, there has been, uh, a, as well as Gundam, uh, not Gundam, uh, but um, some of the other stuff. But what, that's why they'll make a new chapter, new characters, new stuff. They're using the theme, they're in the world, but they're not redoing the character. It's a new Munzing. It's a new pilot. It's it's new. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Korean Shin Chun was also awesome, devilish. Yeah. I think this was Shin Mazinger, which was the same characters. Well, that, that means the one the Devil Man. Uh, is that Devil Man that's in that one of them crossover? Shin Mazinger had Manning. like a bunch of Go Nagi characters in it, actually, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. It was like a, it was like an homage. Like it had, uh, I don't know, just a bunch of different characters from all over the, the world of Go Nagi's manga. Hmm. I know the main theme is like really rocking. One of the better themes. I think. Uh, yeah, that's right, John Dunn. Yeah, no, Adrian, uh, I, of course you can find examples and stuff, but they're, um, uh, it, it's a touchy subject is my point I'm trying to make. Um, and and Yeah, it, it just is. Uh, I'm sure they'll try to find a way to uh, to turn uh, uh, Mura-san's uh, work into uh, more uh, animation, I'm sure, um, uh, just because... Uh, not like 2016's Berserk. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Anything but that. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Booster, it is time to finish. So why don't you go ahead and uh, get these guys yeah. to stop touching with touching stuff? Stop tell, touching things. Tell oh, them you stop. put your bits away, oh, you, you sillies. Yes, it's, it's done. Uh, it's branding, isn't oh, it? That's right, Alan. Oh, look, it worked. Booster, you have power. Yeah, everyone respects my authority. Mm -hmm. Especially when you. They, they know. Dang. Then they'll get really mad. That's true. We don't want to. We don't want a mad booster, and especially when uh, he, he's such a crazy person that he puts gravy uh. on fried chicken. I mean, Jesus. All right. I, I, get, I get all. I start acting all up. That's true. Uh, well, Sounds delicious. It does. Of course, I have high cholesterol too. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. Just talking about yeah, it. no, 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 no gravy on fried chicken. That's just, that's just not appropriate. Uh, anyway, no more. that was my lot of oh, Thank you right. for a week. All right, here we go. We're gonna take a look at the art here, and uh, since we got Brad with us, Brad, why don't you come up and help us, uh, Booster and I, critique the art? That would be nice. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sure. Right on a minute, my camera's So we're okay. going to look at Amaron first. So just go and click on his uh, uh, icon and uh, take a look what he's done here. Sure. Okay, hold on. Let me get this. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, Amaron, tell us what have you done? Is it obvious? What have you done? <laughs> well, I'm assuming this is the post hell rape scene. Oh my god. This is pretty what? tame for Almiron. It is, actually. Yeah, yeah using the manga tones to make it look like the manga. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that what you're yeah. going for? So, are we supposed to be, like, honest? or? Yeah, no, be honest. You want to tell him he sucks and he needs to go kill yeah. himself. You know, do that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, how long have you been drawing? A uh, long time. Okay, gotcha. Do you ever take the uh, life drawing classes? I have. Uh, not classes, just um, going to a place where it's drawing, drawing life. Yeah, like... Uh, yeah, like models and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I just practice a bit more because the arms seem a little bent to me, you know, a little strangely. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And... Uh, no, I mean, overall, I don't know how long you've been drawn, uh, but, uh, yeah, I would uh, work on the anatomy a little bit more. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe thin the shoulders down a little bit so they're, they're not wider than their hips. Uh, it's just my style. That's all. That's it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's the Sorry. way I do it. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not I, trying to be realistic. <laughs> you, you just, you those just boobies are way too small. Yeah, and, and I didn't oh. get past the boobs anyway, so. You know. Oh, did you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the neck makes it look manly to me too. So, but yeah. Oh, there you I go. I think you can send up the neck and the shoulders. I think 
they look a little more feminine to me. So, but all right, well, there you go, Armron. Yeah, trying to be rude. Get to it. <laughs> all right. No, yeah, no. Hard word, <laughs> Uh, I love it, Nothing actually. Uh, uh, but I always like Armand's stuff. Uh, he's definitely got this uh, this kind of style. Uh, this is a little bit different than normal, actually. And uh, you were saying you were trying to manga it up, I guess. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, very good. If you guys like what Armand has done, please vote for him in the straw poll. Uh, moving down, we have Mr. E. Hawkins, uh, Brad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, action scene's real good in this one. I, li I like that there's some movement. You can tell with the... Uh... Uh, the cape and everything. Um, yeah. Uh, I would probably try to work on the legs a little bit more, especially the one that's coming forward. Uh, but uh, and then I'd actually take Oh, yeah, that one looks bad. One. It's not bad. It, just, it, looks, it looks round. You don't see the definition. Uh, looks uh, fucking terrible. Uh, Quit immediately. I think he needs I want a, a refund for all my books I've begged from you, Eric. The back leg, I would actually think it looks like it's going straight. I'd actually tilt it more to the the left and then thin the ankle out and the foot out to make it look like it's back farther so he's sprinting forward more. Oh, oh yeah. That, though, That's yeah. interesting. You know, the knee, the uh, the on the greave, the knee plate on the greave just needs a little more detail to pop it out. I think a black line would probably fix that instantly. Uh, but I like it, though. Uh, I love the movement yeah, of it. The sword is badass, dude. Look at that. That is cool, dude. Uh, so, I spent too much time on the sword. Fire. I should have spent more time on the legs. Yeah, <laughs> I see what I see what Brad's saying though. But I think uh, re uh, on the lifted uh, knee, I think it's this the the Greaves uh, knee plate. Just a, a a a heavier black line probably would fix that. I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, when, you, when you're doing straight on knee shots, dude, I find them tough too. I mean, uh, you know, Kevin Kevin Sharp does them real well. Uh, oh yeah, he does. Yeah, and stuff so. I'd look at how he does them and then try to emulate that a little bit, you know, so. All right. Well, uh, I love it, though. Uh, guys, definitely uh, check it out and uh, see if you love it as well. And please vote for it in the straw poll. Uh, so very good. Moving down here to Elrod. Elrod, go ahead and uh, show us what you've worked on today, sir. Ooh, that's nice. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. <laughs> Chick King. Uh, get him out of here. I worked on a lot of crap today. Because I did this one, which was kind of just like running around, and I don't know why, but drawing a left-handed swordsman is hard. Uh, and then I did this one, which was total crap, because I grabbed the wrong paint. Um, that one looks good, though. I, I like the concept the, is good. It just uh, it fell great. apart it's very strong. because of the paint was bad. Oh, yeah, but that you can you can go over that with more paint. Mm -hmm. yeah. This, this yeah, I just have to get some. Uh, my uh, what I thought was watercolor wasn't watercolor, and it had gone bad, so it kind of ruined the paper. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't think it's trash. I mean, just I think you could work on it still and make. It I like pop. it too. Yeah, it could be solid. Yeah. It's a nice homage yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, it's the homage like it. and the meaning behind it, and it's super strong. The design is so. <clears throat> Oh, there you go. Is it, gets that... point, it gets the point across. It does. Yep. It does, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Pete Mack, uh, yes, I have. I have seen it, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the Illustrated oh, here's Man. One who wrote, here's the one who wrote uh, Fahrenheit 451, right? Uh, maybe. Ray Badger? Yes. Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Well, thank you very it's much, very Elrod. Uh, it is a good book. Um, uh, and uh, if you guys like what Elrod has done, please vote for him in that straw poll. Uh, let's come down here, JD. Uh, Brad, be nice. This one has uh, mental nice. mental. This one has oh. uh, brain worms. Be be nice. Oh, <laughs> brain worms. The brain worms. Uh, which one are we judging? JD. He, he lives, lives in California. Worms, he lives in California, yeah. lives in California so be worms? nice. Yeah. No, I I live in North Carolina. Northern California. That's what yeah, I said. That's right. That's oh, right. We said yeah. Oregon. The suburb of New Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Northern California. So there, there's two drawings on my screen on his screen. So. Oh, this is just. Uh, you want to look at the red just one? Just a reference drawing. Oh, the red, red one. one's new. Oh, okay. Uh, didn't it break the rules already? No, no, we have no color no, rules here anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Um. Yeah. Honestly, dude, you just can't tell what's going on very well. So, 
Uh, oh. You needed to find. Yeah, I kind of darkened it. No, it's not the darkens. You yeah, you're probably it. right. <laughs> yeah, you just can't see yeah, the shape very well. I get it. It's okay, buddy. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, He's coming out of, uh, yeah, uh, uh, let me help you out uh, uh, there, Brad. Uh, you see Guts is coming out of a hellish vagina. It's allegorical for Jimmy's way out of hell. Yes, yes. It's his confusion. Okay. He doesn't know who his real father is, Brad. Mm. Oh, it's all allegorical. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, moving on. If you guys like uh, what JD has done, please vote for him. The straw poll coming down here uh, to uh, m Mrs. Kinma. What? I do believe. Hi. Hi. Well, uh, uh, this is not your piece today, although I do love uh, seeing the little peeks at the sequentials of your upcoming comic book. Uh, can you show us what you worked on today, please? Do I have to? Yeah, I, I liked it. I've been paying attention the whole time. I thought it was nice. Okay. There you go. I just kind of scribbled. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do anymore. That's yeah, incredible. now this is from the Japan book. So, what do you think, Brad? Okay. Is he is he is squatting down? Is that what he you're is? Yeah, to go yeah, for? yeah. Yeah, I didn't okay. really finish. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you know, uh, it's all right. You know, I like the use of color. Um, I can't, I, you know, I can tell what you're trying to go for. Uh, Again, I would probably work out the basic shapes before laying colors down, so you can see where the legs go and and everything like that. But you know, I can tell where you're going. So use of colors, nice. Yeah, no, uh, you didn't. Uh, <clears throat> she uh, she didn't really uh, finish her concept today. Uh, usually she does. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty though. I like it. Uh, I like that so that you chose something different than a uh, berserk. Uh, so if you guys like what Akinma has done, please vote for her in the straw poll. And uh, Mortal V is in here talking not, about pissing on the, people's teeth again. I don't know. She's not on the straw poll. Akinma uh, is banned from the straw poll. Why? For being a dirty little devil. Oh. Well, because we don't want her to go over there and show up the pros again. It's just too well, much. She's got an infinite invitation to the pros. Well, it. kind of oh, like everybody here does almost, except for Booster. <clears throat> Any is still out on. <laughs> I, no one else has it, unless someone else. Let's say, I'm, I'm definitely going to have them. an invitation to this to the pros. I've never been there once. I've only got uh, one, one, mainly. Well, then we should send. I'm Adrian. not allowed on there. Yeah, Everything yeah, on stage seems to trust up, Mike. <laughs> well, you know, I understand why. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, one doing rabbits here today, uh, uh, Brad. I'm trying to get it to look good because my fish eye lens sucks ass. No, so, that's okay. Whatever. No. It's distorted it's, like crap. You know, the interesting <laughs> thing, though, Rabbit, is I haven't seen you draw a traditional in a very long time, dude. Well, I always do you know, what did you do? It's because, you know, for a change. That's good. Uh, so, is he, so is that the arm in front he's holding the sword? That's yeah. Kind of it's, just, it's hard to yeah. tell, like, say, because of the distortion. Uh, no, I, I think it's hard to tell because it's, uh, I'm just going to be honest with you, you can't tell because it's you're so close you're so zoomed in on the piece you can't tell what he's doing very well it's just not finished oh, okay well that was oh, a hell I of a fish, fish eye lens it's, it is yeah well it's, it's that's the trouble it's my action cam i don't i don't have a proper camera all right. Well, uh, let's see. I oh, think that's uncle. everybody Where zach has left us again he's not showing his work for some reason zach zach Zach. I didn't do anything. Hold on, hold I on. I feel like that one scene from 2001 A Space Odyssey where he's going for the wall. I was like, woo, woo, woo. All right. Uh, but if you go. guys like what Rabbit has done, please vote for him on the strong poll. And we're going to our last bit of art today. Uh, and that is uh, Mr. Zach, the Golden Boy, Double D, Bradley. Oh, that's weird. It's reversed on there. But not so what do you think, uh, Brad? Uh, colors are nice always because he colors my stuff, so I can't complain there. Uh but uh, I, it's him grabbing the sword in the back. It, it, the hand throws me off a bit, and uh, I, don't, I think Berserk would be a little more hairier, not not so shiny on his own skin, you know. But uh, he's sweaty. He's uh, got oil. Oh, he's sweaty. Okay, he's covered <laughs> in oil. Hair. I've recently <laughs> pampered him. Uh, Glistening. You know, I, mean, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's nice. So demons can't grab him anymore. <laughs> 
Because of what mean. happened last I, time. I, I, I just yeah. find it confusing how he's grabbing the sword a little bit. It's like, yeah, no, I see. You talk about the bend of the arm and the hand. Or... Yeah, it's a little off. Yeah, yeah I was, I was alluding to right. Giving the sword a pat. Yeah. Then yeah. again, pat. they are. <laughs> Well, they are trying to throw something together in two hours, so I get that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you guys like what uh, uh, old Zach here has uh, done, uh, please vote for him the straw poll. Uh, once again, we got Zach's piece. Uh, we got Rabbit's piece. Uh, we have Keenma, who's back on her sequentials. Uh, we got JD and his uh, vaginal thrust. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, frost. That sounds like a great porno. Yeah, oh god. Uh, we have Elrod <laughs> working on the uh, Ice Queen, it looks like. Uh, we have Eric's piece, which I like a lot. I think it's really good. And we have Amaron as well and his uh, sexy ladies. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> uh, Booster's going to drop the straw poll, and you guys go to vote, and then we're going to take a look at the draw right now. Right now. Right now? Yes, right, yeah. right, right now. There you go, Eric. Hey, uh, hey Brad, save right now. No. Ha! Do it, you vagina. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I did a I did a draw along, but I can't be bothered with trying to put it on the internet right now. So. Oh, thank you, Adrian. That's uh, the, uh, we appreciate I'll just that. Sh I'll show it through my screen. Okay, let me do that then. I'll come to you first. How's that? So go ahead and put it up. Let me try to bully people because I like being bullied. I, I like it when they bully me back. So yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take a look this at the draw. This is so lazy. I know it's oh, yeah. it's booster. It's real um, but because um, I was trying to be respectful today. Yeah. Well, we're looking at uh, uh, Adrian's berserk here, the first draw along, and he's got a moon in the background ah. and, and guts and his eyes been busted up and uh, aw. What are you talking about? Oh, something right. has changed on the straw poll. If you got a VPN on, you can't vote. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, why, we, why did you have a VPN, Amron? What's going on? Oh, yeah. yeah what I, did you I, do to our pipeline, Amron? <laughs> All the time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, just are we looking at mine or are we looking at Adrian's? Um, I'm looking at Adrian's one? right now, and uh, I think it looks I, great. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to switch little... over to Booster. So, go ahead, Booster. Go ahead, Booster. All right, starting off, we have one doomed rabbit with his warm-up sketches, so we're going to show that. Ooh, that's nice. I think that's actually really that's freaking cool. awesome. <clears throat> it is cool, dude. That was just a warm-up, people. That's awesome. Thank you very much. This is a... Oh. Blue Moon. No. <laughs> I just... I'm going to show it, but I disavow. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> Blue Moon uh, drew this. This seems... I don't know about you guys, it seems mildly disrespectful. No, I think oh, it's perfect. Oh, oh. He's gone yeah, to heaven. He's yeah. And he oh. just says, never heard of him. That's that's all he has to say. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> Blue Moon. All right. I, I just have foul. The, the laughter is my my discomfort. Yeah, I know. The sentiment's oh. good. Oh, look at oh, this cool. one. This is from Jason. Here we are. Oh. Jason Gonzalez oh. getting great. He's yeah. See, that's the hand cool. or the arm there holding the sword that Zach should have done right there. Oh, oh, oh. damn, Zach. Whoa. Brad is just a dirty <laughs> little man. <laughs> Looks good though, Jason. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Jason Gonzalez. You your stuff's getting cool. you have a spot on the show anytime you want to yep, come in. That's true. Free spot. Al Comics. It's a real shame he can't get Discord to work because I love seeing his stuff. Damn. Yeah, I want, to, I want to see him draw in person. So. Yeah, no, he is really good. Uh, that's a nice demon. That's the only person who did a demon. So Zod from Berserk in honor of uh, uh, Mr. Muda. Uh, thank you very much, Alan. Good job, dude. Thank you. That's a, that is a lovely rape demon. Thank you. Yes, it is. Um, we have JD. Phil's need to cheat once again. Yeah, that's okay. Zach, I don't know if it's technically cheating if he's not going on straw poll. I'm going to call him a cheater anyway, so I'm a bell rod. So uh, that's, that's everyone, I guess. All right. Well, thank you all very much. Uh, today we did kind of change gears. Uh, we were going to do Flash Gordon. Uh, now I'm not in charge of scheduling and stuff like that, but I'm assuming we're going to do Flash Gordon next week, Rabbit. Um, I won't be here, so um, let, if that's what we're doing, I'll put it up on Monday because I'm going on Tuesday. So. Oh, okay. Uh, when are we doing the Zombieful World of Oz by Eric Scott Hawkins? In a couple of weeks, I would assume. Any time you would like. 
I mean, I thought it was soon that you wanted to do it. That's what I'm saying. I thought we got to do it the yeah, end. We can of do it the next couple of weeks. Yeah. yeah. When does it end? We got five days end? left. Oh well, shit. It ends in five days. But no, hold on, hold on. I am going over to Indiegogo in my in, in demand store, and it's going to be offered there as well till oh, okay. whenever. So. Well, let's do uh, let's do that next we week then. Robert Le Fell, the better, right? Oh no, please, yes, please, please. Yes. Um, so let's do. Uh, we can do it next week. That's fine. Yeah, let's do Eric's piece next week. Uh, Zombo for right, do that next. Then we'll do. Uh, what's it? Flash, Flash Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, no. When I get yeah. back. Is that actually a then we could do Rob Linkfield. No, no, we can't. Then, well, there's a couple more left on the list. Rob Linkfield. We've still got to do Sonic original characters or whatever it was. Oh, sure. right. That's right. You guys got to do all those, <laughs> weird, all those weird hentai uh, uh, Sonic stuff. And I then, get it, yeah. And then after that, we can do Smiling Friends. What? Is that right, Amaron? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, well, uh, let me get over here and do my voting because uh, time is fleeting. That's for damn sure. Uh, so here we go. Let's see what uh, who wins DNQFE Kentaro Miura Tribute. That's nice, Booster. Uh, and then we just have names thrown in here. No. Oh, God. Uh, all oh, right. I wasn't going to be disrespectful. I didn't want to be disrespectful. Come on, guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I've made my vote. I'm going to show the results. All righty. Uh, and, uh, all right. Uh, 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 we got a few votes in here. Oh, more votes are coming in. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and uh, we got our normal viewership in here today. So I'll wait for it to get up here. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, ooh, it's ooh, it's getting uh, it's getting tighter up at the top. It's getting tighter. Boy. It's definitely tight. Ooh. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, I see Adrian's getting some votes. Adrian needs more votes. We need to send him oh. over to Mike. We need to send Adrian over to Mike. He needs three votes. What Come on, guys. drawn with you guys? <laughs> you vote here one second. All right, Brett. Adrian. Adrian. Come on, we still have some of you guys haven't voted. Get in there and vote for Adrian. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to earn my spot. I am. You are earning it. Yeah, we're earning it through bullying the competition. That's right. Oh, 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 oh there oh. it goes. There it goes. It's tied up top. Oh. <laughs> Adrian and Amrod sitting at the top oh, all close. by their lonesome. So close. I'm not so close. we got to give it a minute here. You can deal with it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? It's a draw. You can deal with it. I can deal with it. That's right. <clears throat> but seeing as you do the casting on uh, Mike's show, I mean, you can deal with it. Well, I'll let him know on Monday, but I normally let him know on the day because he, always, he sometimes forgets. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. So whoever wins will have to double check anyway, just in case. All right. Well, I'm going to have to call it here soon unless someone else wants to come well, in here and vote. One more vote. <laughs> Forget. <laughs> All right. You your wife's phone in there. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, wait, goodness. Wait. There it goes. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, I'm going to call it right here. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, uh, no disrespect to Amaron uh, at all. Uh, you've been over Mike's show before, haven't you, Amaron? Yeah, a couple of times. Oh, good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, all right, so uh, we're calling it right here, and uh, we are done. Uh, thank you all very much for coming in and being part of it. Uh, oh we do God, love doing this show, uh, being able to see the art and uh, stuff like that. Today was uh, a little bit special here uh, doing a tribute to... Uh, uh, a great artist who died way, way too young. Uh, but um, let's take a look at the vote. Uh, JD and uh, Rabbit uh, are sitting out, just out of the medals. Just out of the medals. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for coming and doing the stuff you're doing. So uh, claps for them. Claps, please. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we have Elrod and Eric in third position with the copper medal around their neck booster. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, so thank you all. Claps for them. Claps. Very nice. A tie there. Very nice. Yes. 
That's all right. You guys are about the same age anyway. It's appropriate. Uh, we got armor on the. Thirty years younger than me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That is true. You are a very old man. Uh, armor on uh, our uh, uh, Australian friend uh, with the five Australian months. sensation. Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, in the civil me uh, silver medal position. So thank you very much, armor on, with your uh, very fun piece. So claps for armor on. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you people are disrespectful. Uh, and then, of I course, did many pieces today, actually. Did you? Well, that's nice. Uh, yeah. But uh, we have a first place person, though, Amron. And his name is Adrian, Mr. Miracle, with eight votes, the champion of the day, going to uh, Mike Miller's Pro Edition. Give him hell, Adrian. Yes. Yeah, baby. Thank, thank, yes. you guys for, thank you for voting for me. No, I think it's appropriate, dude. I'm happy about it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Rabbit, take care of that, uh, please. I uh, do appreciate you, and uh, uh, have uh, have Mike set that up. Uh, do you know what uh, you guys are drawing next week, uh, Rabbit? Uh, what? On, on Mike's channel. How would I, <laughs> I know? Mike, I tell, Mike doesn't tell I doubt, anybody. I doubt doesn't. Mike knows what he's drawing next week. <laughs> he's he's that disorganized, really. Yes, it depends I, on what's going on in the news. I've, Shit. I've been on the yeah. last three weeks, right? I bet the, it, might, the, it might be berserk. I'm just... Guessing. Probably will be. I'm yeah. gonna guess it'll be berserk. Yeah. Yeah. Because probably. a certain thing happened last night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, while we were on stream last night, so. Yeah. Unless someone else dies next week, then it'll be that. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you might just choose something random. There depends if something else comes out. But, uh, I sure hope it's not me who dies next week. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, then no. I'll finally get to boost the gold. Yay! Well, so what? So we do a <laughs> Hobbit tonight. No! <laughs> you, do a, you do a fried yeah, chicken, Mike night. Mike Miller and Booster Stir of the Nine Fingers. <laughs> Booster Kiwi versus Chicken. Ah, uh, okay. All right, guys. Uh, where well, we're going to get out of here. Thank you all very much for coming in, and uh, we'll definitely check you out next week. Uh, do keep in mind on this channel, we're off for a couple of days. We'll be back on Sunday night, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will be doing Night Owls, and we'll be talking about uh, all the kooky stuff that's going on in our uh, entertainment world. Uh, and, of course, we'll be back here next week uh, looking at the Zabba for World of Oz from uh, Eric Hawkins. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Yes. That's, a, that's a fun book. A lot of cool characters there, different takes on it. That should be good. Uh, but before I get out of here, anybody have anything they want to proclaim or uh, give to the world? Um, I would say to everybody who's watching, if you're an artist and you want to well, try out, come on. Uh, yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, accepting criticism and putting yourself out there is the first step of getting yourself noticed. So mm -hmm. don't be afraid to do it. Everybody's nervous the first time. Uh, so... Uh, come and join the show. Contact uh, Rodimus or uh, Booster or even Chester if you know how to get a hold of him. I, I it's impossible. Chester, <laughs> Chester doesn't even know how to get in just ch charge of Chester. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, uh, but, uh, yeah. yeah, no. I, uh, don't literally try, any of us but Chester. Try something new. So, yeah. Yeah. No, you know that's very true, Brad. Well, we're happy to have everybody on. Uh, we want more artists in here to come and give it a try. Uh, it's uh, it's fun. Uh, we really do enjoy it, uh, and uh, it's pretty easy to do. More the uh, merrier. The more the merrier. Yeah. Uh, so all right. Anybody else? Sure. If, uh, oh, you go, Eric. <laughs> There's a lot. Thank, thank you. Thank you, my dear. Uh, yeah, everybody, come on the show. We just we have a good old time on here, man. It's what it's about. It's fun. Yeah. yeah it's, let, it's a let great time. I mean. Time either because that's I've heard that a lot of people say they, they can't draw in that time, but I couldn't. You just get used to it, yeah. You, just get, used you to get used to it, you start making shortcuts and you change your style a bit, yeah. It's, it's no big yeah. deal, it's fun. Yeah, but I, hey, you, uh, the Zombie for World Vaz is still uh, on Kickstarter for five more days. I'm, uh, I'm already funded, it's the third issue. Uh, issues one and two are also available. Uh, it'll ship in August, and when this closes, uh, I will open up my Indigo Go in demand store and add issue three to that. Uh, so if people don't like Kickstarter, it will be on Indiegogo. You can just go out there and uh, pre-order it for the August ship date. There you go. All righty yeah. then. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Eric. And we will be looking at this book next week. Uh, anybody else got any announcements or anything? Booster does. 
Oh, Booster does. Booster. Oh my God. Gravy Booster. and fried chicken. All right, go ahead. Other than the gravy mm. and the fried chicken, the fact that I could be dying, that's, uh, let's not worry about any of that kind of stuff, right? Uh -huh. Let's uh, just say that uh, Booster has finished his 56-page uh, script for his little Ooh. fantasy story called Obsidian <gasps> that he's been working on for a very long time. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's been freaking scrutinized to shit. My friends are very nitpicky. They annoy the shit out of me. But at the end of the day, every single little piece of criticism is all helpful and has made this a very toit script. Shabby has started working on it. He's on a third or so pages. I have a colorist lockdown, and you can expect a comic book from me very soon. Wow. But for now, if you could support Shabby's current venture, which is Vestry issue free, because I don't want him to fail, because if he fails on me, then what? Uh, you guys got to fund my book? I don't know if you will. So this book is almost funded. It's about one or two uh, backers away from being fully funded. So if you could back Vestry issue free, I would be so appreciative. I'll let you touch my nipples. Oh, God, that's a treat. One or uh, both? All three of them. All three. There you all go. three? Oh, there you go. Uh, you know, Booster, oh, I... I, I uh, no, JD, he was joking. JD, JD. <laughs> oh, okay, um, I didn't know. Right. Down boy. Uh, down boy. Uh, it's yes, yes. Uh, now, uh, Booster, I, I, I didn't. Uh, I do happen to notice that uh, you didn't uh, give your script to me for editing. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mister Busybody? Why is that? <laughs> All right. All right. Would you Would you like it? No, that's fine. I don't need to. Uh, thank you very much, Immortal V. Uh, appreciate you coming and doing your thing. And. Uh, uh, yeah, all right, guys. Uh, so uh, let's uh, get out of here today. But uh, we're going to have Brad give us a namaste moment, though, because we need inspiration in our life. We need inspiration, Brad. So namaste oh, is out of here, sir. Okay, namaste. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, get on your knees and pray. Mm. I, I would say that, man. Uh, God's always got your back, even when you think you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? He doesn't. He's there. Uh, you know, read your Bible. You know, read your scriptures. Uh, you know, uh, be good to others. So that's all, that's all I should say. So. All right. Well, yeah. namaste. I mean, Joe Joe Biden did tell namaste. me there was no God, but all right. I'll just get Bible bash then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Later. Morning.